the event is starting. And we're live. Oh, are we live? Are I think we're live. Oh, oh, Are we live? Uh, yep. I think we're live. Oh, yeah, we're probably live. Hi. Hi. Hey. We're live. Hey. Hey. hey, everybody. How's it going? What's what up? up? What up? What up? What up? Oh, shit. It's time to talk about motherfucking Game of Thrones. Ooh. 704. Spoil a bore. Spoils a bore. Short ass episode. How's it going? Spoil guys? alert. Spoiler. We watched alert. it. Yeah, we watched it. I'm James. I'm Joel. And I'm Lizzie. She's Lizzie. She's not my girlfriend. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating a different James. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Lizzie, I'm super glad you're here because I noticed uh, making some new thumbnails for the videos this week that we had five people the first uh, after show with Caitlin. Then we had four. Then we had three, and we could have had two because we don't have Gressel and Chelsea today, but uh, you're here, Lizzie. I'm glad. There's three of us this time. Chelsea might show up later, but she had to, she had a last-minute volunteer thing, so uh, she'll be back some point, uh, maybe not during the stream, but sorry about that. It's okay. We got Liz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liz is... Uh, not I can't say equivalent because I'm dating Chelsea. No, I'm not. I'm t I'm not equivalent to Chelsea. No, oh. you're not. I really, you're not. She's far superior. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but how about that episode, guys? Whoa. That yeah. was a fun one. Whoa. Yeah. Now you said going into it mm -hmm. that uh, I don't want to blow up your spot about having watched it before. Oh, it. Joel. Uh, no, d nothing. Don't worry. <laughs> Ja well, James said at some point in the evening that it felt short. It didn't feel short to me. I, I oh, was down with the line. Oh, it felt short as hell. It didn't yeah? feel short. That last scene, I felt like I it was three hours long because I was the so, like, <laughs> The thing is, the tightened. when the episode ends, normally... So the episode runtime uh, before the end credits hit is, like, 46 minutes. Yeah. Normally, that's, like, more like 52. At least 50. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So, like, we were spared a scene or two, like a whole scene or two. Yeah. And that's why it felt short to me was because when it ended, I was like, it, it, it just felt like the length of time was like, oh, I'm ready for another scene. Oh, no, Jamie's drowning. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He's drowning with armor on. Uh, I'm sure he's going to make it out, but the, how? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe uh, a dragon will scoop him on out and just yeah. scoop him out. <laughs> Ooh, I got you, Jamie. My I name is Elliot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love to see a dragon just go fishing for a Jamie down in some water. Yeah. Well, uh, so with this short episode, I feel like there it was much more focused. We didn't stop down uh, in, in uh, Hightower at all, or Old Town. Yeah, sorry. no. no. Uh, we didn't check in with – we have no idea where Yara is. That happened two episodes ago. That ago that she got captured, right? Yeah, and we knew that she was in King Land, King's Landing last episode. Uh, based on the oh, Iron Fleet, did. Euron's Iron Fleet, encountering the boats that the Unsullied took last episode, it's unclear whether, to me, whether or not they split that up, because if it was, was just Euron, then he would have had to get over to Casterly Rock. Well, and at the same, like, meeting the Unsullied at the same time when they had left, like, a while before. So, I'm not sure how that works, but maybe they split the fleet. So, Euron Wait, could be no, anywhere. There weren't ships at Casterly Rock, were there? Yes, they were burning. Like, basically, uh, you, that's what uh, Grey Worm was looking out over, seeing the Iron Fleet basically attacking the Unsullied fleet and just taking them the fuck out. I don't remember. I'm sorry, I don't remember that. Yeah. I will say, so this episode I did watch twice. It's the first episode of the season I was able to watch twice. God, that makes a difference. Holy shit. Yeah, we, yeah. we missed the times when we could watch it twice. Yeah. yeah. Le what? No. Oh, last year we would always watch it twice before doing the after show, and this year, uh, so far, we have not. I don't know, man. Maybe we should uh, Maybe we should do that. I wish we could have watched it, it twice. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's Especially because it was shorter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And but there's, yeah. But the people demand their content. <laughs> they want content. It now. These are the millennials. We're all millennials. Uh, should we, we do just now. like a like a like an emotional check in of how we're feeling about the episode, each one of us? Sure. All right. I feel shook. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like several, I, like uh, the directors and several people on Twitter were saying, this is the first time that we like actually cared about people in both sides of the battle at the end. And so it was just like, oh no, don't do that. But yes, do that. But don't do that. Um, so <laughs> it, it was very confusing. Liz, could you uh, pop this guy up and direct yeah. it more towards your mouth? Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Cool. 
Joel's very particular about the <laughs> I want the people to hear your lovely words. That's, fair. That's fair. Um, I forgot about what else happened in the episode because that last <laughs> yeah. thing yeah. blew yeah. my mind. Really does a good job over. of just like Seems erasing similar. everything else from your mind. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, Joel? For me, uh, yeah, I was... I was suspecting going into this episode that we wouldn't get that because I was thinking that's got to be the bulk of an episode, but this caught me a little more like what the field of fire. Yeah, th- not not like Battle of the Bastards, but uh, maybe it was the episode before that. Just the um, the battle at Slaver's Bay caught me a little that off was the guard. Same episode. Oh, was it the same mm-hmm. episode? Oh, yeah. man, guys, that episode is so good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't think that we were going to get it this episode. And then, yeah, once <laughs> once it, oh, yeah, the gold's safe in the city. I was like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I love how Randall starts that scene off with, like, hey, audience, this is important information. All the gold is safely in Casterly Rock. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> more can happen to the gold that would ruin our plan of getting the gold into, oh, I'm sorry, not Castle Rock, King's Landing. Oh, yeah, yeah, into yeah, King's yeah. Landing, that's mm-hmm. right. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad the you The Iron Bank that. plot is okay. The food and our characters, not so much. Oh, uh, the food is fun. Yeah, yeah. so what, what happens? I mean, I guess we can talk about that later, but. Sure, should we just start this proper? I mean, we start in the same, uh, at the yeah. same assemblage of Jamie yeah. and Braun. Um, th- I can't tell, they're, I mean, they're at High Garden there, yes, because they're unloading the the gold of High Garden into yeah. uh, wagons, mm-hmm. and Bron gets his payment, and uh, I mean that just kind of sets him up, right? Yeah, he's what else? saying that Jamie has a long face. He did just hear from Olena that she killed Joffrey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's probably not happy about it. Yeah, and then uh, Bron mentions that he wants a castle because you, Lizzie, you asked why is Bron still like, hanging why out? Why is he there? And Braun was. I happy. forgot that he was knighted. Yeah, Braun was. Uh, well, he was knighted at Blackwater, yes. and then he was given uh, a small castle, uh, castle Stockworth. Right? Is that the name of the castle? As in well? the book, in the books at least, he's given Stokeworth. Stokeworth. I'm sorry, uh, but no, no, that's who he's hanging out with. He he marries Lawless Sto- Stokeworth, and remember, there's that scene with Jamie and him on the beach when Jamie's about right, to go yeah. to Dorne. And Bronn's like, why should I leave? I have like, I have a wife. We're talking about killing her sister and like, you know, being all good. We're happy. We're happy folk right now. And Jamie convinces him to dress up in a stupid outfit and go to Dorn for the worst subplot of that season. <laughs> hey, we yeah. got you like the. No, I'm not gonna quote it, but the bad pussy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like Bronn had his bad girl. pussy. Uh, uh, yeah. Detour. And now <laughs> he'll never, he'll never see Tyene again. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. She's, <laughs> she is l- locked up. Yeah, locked she's up. she's decaying. She's probably in dead. front of Alaria. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I th- I thought that given as much brawn that we got this episode, you know, not to skip ahead too much, but I th- I thought he was a goner. I, I thought really he was gonna thought. die. I thought oh a lot yeah. of people were gonna die. I mm-hmm. thought he was gonna die. I thought Jamie might die, and I was like, no. Yeah. Yeah. I thought Decon Decon <laughs> might die. I didn't I th- care I if he died. Guys, I think you guys might have been talking over when uh, Bron t- called him Rickon. And yeah, then, no. And then and he, he goes, it's Dickon. And then Bron just like laughs. He's like, whatever. Yeah, and no. that's how I feel. I'm like, whoever. I don't that. care about you. <laughs> no, what I was thinking in that scene was uh, Jamie was like, is this your first battle? And <laughs> I was just thinking Dickon being like, yes, as this actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The other guy played a lot of the Quidditch, but uh, I, I'm, I'm on yeah, Vikings. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. I know him from Unreal. Cormac so. McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> McClagan. McClagan. What was happened to him? McCarthy? He got a show? Uh, yeah, he was on Time After Time, which was... He lost the yeah. The Time Traveling dragon. Show? No, not... W- yes, uh, but not the one where they're doing like a lot of time travel. It's just like Jack Ripper and H.G. Oh. Wells are now in the present. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Did that get canceled? It did. Mm. Good call, uh, Yeah, Dick made a good on. choice, huh? He could have been Dick and Tarly. Instead, he's dicking around somewhere else. Uh, okay, so uh, then we talked to Cersei and Tycho. Tycho Nestoris, that's his name. From yeah. The Iron Bank. Uh, Iron yeah. Bank guy. I don't care about the Iron Bank at all. Ah. Oh, but they uh, they got money, money, money by the yeah. pound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know this is supposed to be important, but uh, it's... So one, th- one thing is mentioned that may come up. Cersei mentions the Golden Company. Yeah. 
Has that been? Uh, my head is all twisted, turned sure. when it comes to show and book. Has the Golden Company been featured in the show before? I don't think it's ever been mentioned on the show. Never in the show. Do you know what the Golden Company is? I don't know what that is. That doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't mentioned in the Correct. show. Correct. Yeah, I could have <laughs> yeah. forgotten it. I, if so, a, a long time ago, and I, I can't even imagine in what context it would have been. Thinking about the the mentions of the Golden Company in the books, the first time you really encounter it, unless you're like reading World is in Feast for Crows, I believe, and they're talking about some Dorn stuff that doesn't happen on the show. So they're a mercenary army, uh, among other mercenary armies, such as the Second Sons, and I forget another notorious one. What's, yeah, Bra- so what's Brown Ben Plum a part of? Uh, what's, uh, I don't know. It is doesn't matter. Uh, Sons of the Harpy? No, they were. that was an insurgent rebel group, I would call them. But uh, Golden Company, so they're a mercenary company that's best known for never shirking on a contract, That's right? That's true. Yeah, until yeah. events in the book happen. Something happens. I, happens. I don't know yet because I'm in the middle of that book. Um, <laughs> but they, uh, they also had a role in the Blackfire Rebellion, or, or at least one of the people who was involved heavily in it was just like That's right. off with them but the for Black, a while. Blackfire Rebellion is not in the show at all. Yeah, so hasn't been mentioned. It's, yeah. it's cool Targaryen stuff. Some people though. have said that Jorah mentioned it to Danny. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, that well, makes sense. Because yeah. yeah, she would have. Uh, he was probably talking about uh, getting them instead of taking in uh, uh, the Unsullied. That's right. He would probably would have been like, "Why don't you get the Golden Company instead mm. of using slave warriors?" Okay. Okay. So and she was like, "Oh yeah, we can't. Was, we don't have money." Thank you. I'm so glad there are so many knowledgeable people in chat because I'm guys. I'm rusty as fuck on my Game of Thrones. I'm sorry. There's a lot to know. There's a lot <laughs> to know. Uh, the Golden Company was founded by Agor Bittersteel, who was the brother of Aegon Blackfire. So, yeah, there's a lot to go into that we probably don't need to because the show is probably never going to touch on that shit. Yeah. Show Varys isn't a Blackfire. Yeah. But Book yeah. Varys definitely is. Oh. Guaranteed. Um, so, yeah, he, he talks about the Golden Company, and he is... No, she does. Oh, she, she does. mentions it because oh, she right. says that her armies are low, her troops are low, yeah, and that she's in a war and that she might need to re- recruit them for fighting. And he, he like, he uh, buttresses the, the quality of them. It's like, yeah, we've used them before. They're great. Uh, he says that we've used them before to get back things that belong to us. And then she says... That she wants to do the same. Yeah, she wants to get back some things that belong to her, and I was like, "What? Yeah, is what she is it? Tyrion? Does she mean? Uh, she could mean Tyrion. Maybe I was thinking just kingdoms because, sh- you know, they've lost. It a felt few more of specific. It, yeah, yeah. It definitely. Like, uh, I, I don't know. What? What could they? Ha- wait, who? Who is she wanted? Oh, she didn't say who from. She just said no. Just something that belongs to her. She said she wants. To, uh, she mentioned like maybe using it is them. Tyrion. Maybe Tyrion because the justice of him killing Joffrey. Yeah, exactly. That she wants back. And that would make sense if that was what she was alluding to, and then that came to fruition right as Jamie got back and was like, "Hey, uh, it wasn't him. It wasn't him yeah. actually." Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm wondering how that conversation like would go because Olena claims ownership, but in Tyrion. Or in uh, Cersei's mind, she could just be like, well, they're working together. Yeah. Sure, yeah. There's no telling if she's actually going to believe him. But Jamie, I think Jamie loves Tyrion enough to be like, this is evidence enough to that. Don't kill my little brother. Yeah. It'll it's ga- it's going to cause a conflict between the two. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. wondering uh, if Jamie gets captured, as you were saying, James. Everybody loves Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. Uh, yeah, if, if Jamie gets captured, then. What kind of relationship might that look like with Tyrion? Will he be brought more to his point of view and see more of Cersei's flaws? I, c- I really hope so. Me too. I have such high hopes for Jaime. He could be so great if he just cut her loose. Get oh. out of there. I yeah, mean, and like right. he said the episode before this one with Olena that like he was resigned. Like he he didn't think that she was evil. He didn't think that. You had to turn turn mics up, turn 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 you up. It just sucks. He still like defends <laughs> her to people. Yeah, and I'm he like, loves Ugh. Her. Ugh. He but he loves her. Well, he should stop. They're OTP. <laughs> 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 they w- they were the first uh, romantic. I mean, like like we s- they're the first people we saw going at it on Game of Thrones. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so gross. Wait, were they the first? No, Tyrion, Tyrion was and a threesome. prostitute. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Good call. Yeah. yeah, the romantic relationship of our generation. <laughs> I was thinking about that, but I didn't want to mention it because I was like, no, this makes my point true. <laughs> <laughs> in Tyrion's first shot, where he's like, 
Oh yeah, he's, he's like, yeah. so weird. Yeah, getting that blow job, Ugh. getting that blowy. And he's got that like bleach the blonde. blonde hair. Yeah, Ugh. he's like a surfer dude. Yeah, that's <laughs> so gross. He's like oh righteous, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the imp. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so after that is the single best scene of the episode with Littlefinger. <laughs> I did it's like the scene a lot. It's a scene. Yeah. The fa- like, okay, so it starts with uh, the, the dagger unsheathing. It's like, oh! There it is. There's the dagger. We've been talking about this for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen it in pictures. And then and then Littlefinger starts talking like, oh, this will be a great scene. And then it's him and fucking Bran talking. <laughs> Who called that happening? Yeah. No, no yeah. one. No one. No one was expecting that pair, pair up. No. I thought that he, yeah, he. Why would he talk to Bran? He wouldn't know because that Bran is the one who knows everything he now. He wants to protect Catelyn's children <laughs> and make her proud. Yeah, I'm your new father. <laughs> I love it when he was like, when he was like, <laughs> I'm here to do what she can't anymore and protect her children, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I re- I wanted a little more from that scene in terms of Bran making a bigger move. Oh, I mean, dude, I, I know it's little coming. finger. That's, I'm just impatient himself. for that. When little, when Bran says chaos is a ladder, jaw dropped, and little finger. You don't often see little finger taken aback. Yeah, yeah you don't see surprise on his yeah, face. Yeah, but that was a it was like full on close shit. up of him. Yeah, yeah, that was like straight his pants. to camera. <laughs> yeah, and then he just gets up as like, excuse me, I need new small clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Every yeah, they're interrupted by Sansa. No, Mira. <laughs> oh, Mira, that's right. Oh, God, yeah. But what were you saying? I was just saying every scene with Bran makes me want more. <laughs> Beep, boop, just I do am something. Bran. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You and they addressed more. that this time. So, th- yeah, the last time we really saw emotion from Bran was at the end of season six. And it was right before, I think, he did the last part two of Tower of Joy. He was still himself, but... Uh, last time... I w- would be with Hodor, right? Well, he was. Um, what do you mean? Like, in the cave when he was like, "No, Hodor." Th- I don't know. No, never mind. No, when he's like, "Hold the door." Yeah. When he does that. Wh- uh, wait, are you guys saying that's the last time Bran was Bran? I feel like the last time Bran was Bran, like he, he's with Cold Hands, Benjen, and it still seems like he's Bran then. And even then, when he Cold Hands, Benjen just drops him at this tree. And then he sort of touches the tree, has Tower of Joy Part 2. Uh, oh, yeah. Looks like he's feeling some emotion when he sees that. And then just since the beginning when of the season. the Three-Eyed Raven, mm. like, die? Uh, w- during the, the big Night King attack. Yeah. See, that's when I th- would think that that's, like, the last shreds of And that's what Mira gone. says. Yeah. Is you died in that cave. Yeah. yeah. So. Which, maybe it's Ruet counting, maybe it's not uh, for his new... But oh, you're, you're, you're saying he, yeah, you're saying yeah. he showed some more emotion after that moment, more yeah. than he has been showing. They lately. could have wanted to sure. speed up whatever uh, progression of character they've got in store for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a cold scene with Mira. Yeah. Oh, poor, poor Mira. Mira. Yeah. Yeah. She She's does done say so much. I know. She does say she has to go be with her family. Holland Reed. I know. <laughs> dashing my hopes of. Of seeing how I want him to come up to Winterfell. Oh no, Maybe dude, next he season. can't leave his his floating castle. Howland's floating How, castle. Howland's floating castle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, I maybe though. There's the potential because Sansa has already set up the idea that if the winter gets real bad, people will come to them. So it could be next season. Hmm. I don't know if we'll see Howland. Oh, I want to see Howland. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I want to for sure. Uh, but yeah, Mira uh, pieces out. That's yeah, it. That's and it she does, Mira. as uh, Dylan Fix says, she does deserve so much better. Oh yeah. As yeah, as Bran explains, he's beyond that now. Like he knows everything. <laughs> yeah. But I want him to like, I want him to take Littlefinger down, man. What? That's what I want. I want everyone him to wants reveal. everyone to take Littlefinger down. But you know what? He's still standing. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> he'll be around t- until the end of the season, and then he'll probably die. I want Bran to spill all the tea. I want him to be like, hey, Sansa, so uh, this, 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 and this, 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 and Littlefinger did this, and uh, this is who decapitated our father, and yeah, this is who so poisoned John Aaron, and, like, yeah. everything. I just want it all to come out, but, like, why isn't he telling? It's weird because he, he, he has his no strategy. Pri- yeah, his priorities maybe seem different because he's got this greater knowledge Maybe he's 
so focused on the Night King threat that he do- he doesn't really that, care like, about yeah, his family. That, the fact that Littlefinger betrayed Ned and had him killed like doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's what what the hell does it matter? It happened in the past, whatever. He was like, like, but are, is he ever go- like? And the whole and like Jon Snow, like, is he ever gonna tell anyone? Yeah, but he wants to tell Jon. Yeah, he does. He does care enough about that. Like. That's good because he was like he told Sansa. He was like, I. I gotta talk to John. Oh. He's like, beep boop, have to talk to John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at least that that makes sense. <gasps> Who's this? Someone Who's this? approaches. Do 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 A little bit ago, yeah. We're only on the second scene. You getting in? Yeah. Yeah. There's a mic going for you. Okay. She's let's here. Do, let's do a quick Q and A. Let's do a quick Q and A. Yeah, just she has returned. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, what's uh? Oh yeah, apparently Chelsea and I were on the Comic Con trailer mm-hmm. after the That's show. Awesome. They did not show this on HBO Go, so I didn't get to see it. If there's a video of it anywhere, please let me know because I want to fucking see me in costume. HBO uh, sponsored. Yeah, let's all make room Where am I going? for our queen. Oh, or, or do you, do James, do That's you, fine. Do you want your queen next to you? Yeah, she can be on the end there. That's oh, fine. Wow. Yeah, we'll scooch on down. Do, 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 do. You do what you need to. You're a yes queen. Yes queen. Oh, you know, I will actually. Oh, I can come. Where can I sit? Oh, here. Uh, well, can she do on this end? Would that be easier? Yeah. Well, you'd have to step over this. That's fine. Oh. That would be easier on this side. So, Joel, you want to switch and go over there? Okay. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Uh, actually, I'm glad that Chelsea walked in and in full <laughs> Cersei regalia. I, I, had, I had business to attend to in this <laughs> costume, so I couldn't watch the. Sh- I couldn't watch it with you guys, but I'm here now. I hope the audience is picking up all the squeaking. <laughs> the oh squeaky yeah, that's dress. what you can't. What that's what doesn't come across in pictures is like how <laughs> noisy <laughs> everyone's like, freaking out. <laughs> I feel like um, when. Um, SpongeBob gets the squeaky. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. May I take your, your order? order. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so we did already discuss Cersei's one scene. Yeah. Fuck. But okay. I don't Any, know. Do you have anything to? Add? Yeah. I do have something to add because Chelsea and uh, Chelsea and I watched this a little early, and then I rewatched it with uh, these folks, and I noticed mm-hmm. something. Um, oh shit. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, tell so, me. So Tycho Nestoris mm-hmm. tells Cersei, I think it's like the first line or one of the first lines of the scenes. He's like, uh, so, yeah, you're paying back this lump sum all at once. Your your father was an effective and efficient man, mm-hmm. but it looks like – uh, but it seems that you're redefining those terms entirely. And he says that. I'm like, yeah, she is redefining effective and efficient and man – Mm. entirely because he specifically says was a oh. effective and efficient man and you're redefining those terms entirely i like that right i Thank like you. that reading yeah i thought you were gonna say you read it the second time as being very sarcastic no 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 and i think that you know maybe Tycho, uh the character doesn't mean it that way but i think it's it's in the text specifically worded that way for us to pick up on is like yeah cersei's bucking these gender roles as like that's cool yeah she's being much more masculine and strong and and mm-hmm. yeah. yeah she wants to be her dad yeah any any oh, time that she's complimented in reference to tywin yeah is like well best compliment i mean he could receive he compared her favorably to Ty- tywin he was like mm. tywin was was pretty good but you're even better yeah <laughs> which just makes me wonder if 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 he means that or if he has such a handle on like he can read that he knows that that's what she wants to hear i think so i think yeah is go, he uh, manipulating her with mm-hmm. praise because because yeah obviously because he wants he's like oh what other ventures do you have in mind oh conquering a continent we we could uh we could help you with that yeah i think uh, you don't get to be a representative of the iron bank without like knowing how to milk that coin you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i like how it was probably not his mission to come there and have the debt entirely repay like he even mentions <laughs> yeah. not having the interest payments <laughs> he anymore was like Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, weren't, well, you weren't kidding. Uh-huh. Uh, can we keep this your 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 blue apron box going? We'll we'll take it down to ten percent, twenty percent. 
Uh, so yeah, we discussed that. We discussed the initial Jamie and Bron scene, and then we uh, also discussed Littlefinger and Bran mm. and Mira's. Oh, okay. yeah. That's that's how far we got. That Mira scene was like hard. It was sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Literally. But she carried his ass literally. Yeah. She literally <laughs> carried I his didn't ass. Home. Fucking else to say. And uh, but then she said, "I have to be with my family." Guys, <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't know if we'll get Helen Reed, but oh, please. I want it to. You know. We all want that read. Because I think everyone, I think <laughs> one of the big, read. I think one of the big things, like the big shoe we're all waiting to drop is how does John find out? Yep. Helen Reed is one of the ways he can find out. And I that's like the big way that at least like book readers like he's like the key to everything i don't know if that'll be i think the show's just gonna show. go with bran i think so too yeah because but uh, i had hope for that moment had i not known you all i would have no idea who helen reed is true it's i mean he's even not, he's only in one flashback, flashback yeah. and, and he's name checked they if they wanted to not include him they could have not just like yeah. another guy so the show intentionally included him but yeah, yeah we right. did yes yeah. we did technically get helen reed in the show i saw i can't like read i can kind of see the chat from here but um people are saying you look gorgeous thank mm-hmm. you but not like current helen reed we got right, a little not, baby yeah we don't have helen reed who can like tell the characters really important shit in the present yeah that's the one i want <laughs> um we can move on i'm sorry so moving on is uh aria arriving at winterfell yes yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. oh wait you know no someone brings up a good question why would littlefinger give bran the dagger they ask why would he do that He's trying to show his value to the male heir yeah. to Winterfell, I think. It's it's part of the Peter system. P is portray value. Mm-hmm. What's E? Uh, oh, yeah, didn't we, like... Explain everything. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's D? <laughs> uh, uh, People uh, order our patties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, treat everyone as you would like to be treated. That's oh, that. Nope, that's the golden rule. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think about like why, like what was his motivation. And I could see that because then Bran was like, "I'm not the Lord of Winterfell." Yeah, no, yeah. I think it's just him sucking up and not counting on the fact that Bran is this all-seeing uh, Doctor Bran Hatton now. Yeah, uh, it was him being like, "Oh, uh, well, well, uh, all my coins are with Sansa right now, but maybe Bran will be Lord of Winterfell." So in case he is. Hey, Bran, here's a dagger. <laughs> I'm yeah. on your side. Sansa's not really listening to me. Maybe I can boost this one. She's up keeping a little. I wonder if a part yeah. of it, too, is um, to kind of show that Littlefinger truly sees Bran like for face value. He's like a 12 or however year old kid. And I think it's going to be his downfall is like trying to. He like underestimates how much he has to like manipulate the start kids to get what he wants i think he like really takes them as they are as like 12 years old 14 years old and like i think that that's what's gonna really fuck him up is like I, he doesn't know bran is like an all-seeing yeah. god pretty much at yeah. this point he's a 12 year old boy especially yeah uh especially if we take that and think about how he manipulated sweet robin Mm-hmm. Yeah, he gave him a experience. present, and he's yeah. like, "Cool, that worked. I just got this kid a present." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he thinks br- he can work Bran like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have s- kind of the same hairstyle. This one's kind of an idiot. This one's in a give wheelchair. Give one a falcon, Perfect. give the other a dagger. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Man>. Check. <laughs> Bran is such a bummer. I just remember last season in What's on the Box specifically talking about Bran and how like, wow, we really are gonna start to see like. Bran fulfill like what his character is supposed to do and he's yeah. gonna become like really interesting and integral and he's such a bummer you got like he just bums me out every time he's on screen I like it he's so gone I like Dr. Bran he is gone mm. I like that it's but also it, he knows so many things so oh yeah he's chaos is a ladder yeah it's saying chaos so is a ladder good. I think that I think that should be enough to snap Littlefinger out of any uh underestimation of Bran. Mm. It gives me a little bit of hope because what I want from Dr. Bran Hatton is less like if it's going to be there fine, but I want less seeming apathy. I want to know what he really values. And uh, is it, cuz it doesn't seem like it's his family terribly. Yeah. And I think part of um and what what you just mentioned is like uh going back to him underestimating the kids and him maybe needing to retool his game. I think that was 
uh, a big part of the reason we were given that scene where he's watching Arya train with mm-hmm. um, Brienne is him realizing, like, oh, fuck. One, mm-hmm. his his dagger got re-gifted. Oh, you stole my joke. <laughs> 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 Two, he's like, shit. Already one of them has gone under my nose to, like, make that transaction. Two, this other one could, like, kick my ass. Yeah. yeah. Can, like, kill me in my sleep. Mm-hmm. So I think he knows he's got to step up and, his game. And Arya, uh, we'll get back to, like, her scenes in a second, but she does, um, when she finds out Littlefinger is there, she calls it out. She's like, Littlefinger's here? And so we had a little discussion during the episode of, like, yeah. what does Arya know about Littlefinger? And I don't think much. I f- had forgotten briefly that they do have a scene together in Harrenhal, yeah. but he doesn't register that it's her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or does he? Oh, 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 you think he does? It's hard to say because that is a that is a show invention, mm-hmm. uh, that scene. And it's one of those scenes where I'm reminded of DreamWorks as trolls. Ah, uh, uh, seminal yeah. trolls. What because the it's one of those scenes <laughs> Are you talking about chef? where someone's undercover and they're doing something and uh. someone who they're afraid of they're they're interacting with someone that they're afraid of, and the person who they're afraid of is acting suspiciously towards them, and the audience isn't sure, does this person recognize them for who they are or not, and is just playing them. So for instance, in DreamWorks is trolls. I was like, please. please I play. I had assumed that have you seen it? Yeah. I had assumed that Chef knew that Zoe De Chanel was Princess Whatever the Fuck when uh she was hanging out with uh Christopher Mintz Plus. It's like Be- Becky or something? No, Maybe it's like Lady Sparkles or yeah. something. Oh, yeah, that's, that's her, yeah, that's her fake When name. they're interacting, because Chef is acting so suspicious. But then later, when the reveal happens, Chef is like, what? You're uh, my scullery maid? Yeah. And I was like, that that sucks. I thought mm-hmm. that she recognized her. I assume that Littlefinger uh, recognized Arya and didn't. I personally will bet Whoa. that they're pulling a trolls <laughs> with that trope of like, <laughs> Oh, make you know, have some knowing glances so the audience thinks that the person recognizes them, but oh, they don't. I hate it. Yeah. I hate that trope. I'll talk about some I'm tropes I hate later. Did was? Can you remind me of when Littlefinger and Arya? Met? Yeah, was it when she was like a boy. Yeah, yes. yes. she was at well, Harrenhal, and she well, she'd no, been outed as a girl by then. Yeah, she was uh, Tywin's like, like the cup rats girl. It was no. near there. Yeah. yeah, it was when when Arya was appointed like Tywin's cupbearer and oh. would like serve wine and shit. And she's just like in all these meetings with like Tywin and the Mountain and Littlefinger yes. was there for one of them. Got you. Hi, Erica. Uh, and then yeah, Littlefinger shows up and she's like pouring wine for him and trying to disguise her face. And Littlefinger's like looking at her. And yes, like, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So um, we don't know if he recognized her or not. Yeah, mm. I'm trying to remember, and I I'm. Confused because this might just be a scene from the book that I'm imagining was in the show, but I swear there was a scene with Arya, Littlefinger, and Ned. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up. Was she they like might have interacted way early on. Like, really like, yeah, early like on. Yeah, like early season one. I kind of picture them in, like, like her running around chasing the cat or something. No. Well, she she would know him from uh, King's Landing. People are saying that she like knew him. Yeah, like when you're saying when he would interact with. Um, she Ned. would know who's who who he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm just yeah, trying to think yeah. if they've like. But I don't think that she knows, for instance, that he He's betrayed a, Ned. No. Right. right. Which would be big for her. Yeah. That would probably land him on. He would have been on the list real yeah, quick. Exactly. Okay, I had a question that someone else had a question, too. Um, mm-hmm. When Arya gets to the gates and they're like, "Oh, Lady Stark is in charge," and she's like, "Which one?" Mm-hmm. Who else could it be? She knows. Cat- she knows dead. Catelyn's dead. Does she? she? Yeah. Sure. She because killed of the phrase. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's how the season started. Um, oh, would that they, is. Yeah. What maybe would, uh, maybe if John had married, I don't know. But they wouldn't be a Stark anyway. I don't know, man. Uh, no, that uh, that line is interesting. No, it is. It is interesting. It's weird. Which would, one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, w- hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, that's when she arrives at Winterfell. And I noted uh, right off the bat that that this scene mirrors season one 
after uh, she comes down through the sewer lines. Uh, someone actually just mentioned in the chat, Arya saw Littlefinger and Varys' meeting. That wasn't Varys and Littlefinger. That was Varys and a lot uh, Illyrio. Illyrio. Yeah. So after she witnesses that meeting, she like comes out through the sewers and is outside the gates of King's Landing and tries to get back in. And there are guards who give her shit. Yeah. And they're oh, like, whoa, she's nice all dirty. tying to yeah. like answering a question. That's but great. that's like what you were about to talk <laughs> about. Yeah. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, that's like the exact same scene because they laugh at her. They don't believe her. Mm -hmm. And uh, she has to like, and I also like how she persuades them instead of like using force. Like mm -hmm. he strikes out at her, she dodges it, and then she just uses like this logic that's like, I'm getting in there. If uh, if I'm not who I say I am, I'll get kicked out. But if I am, you don't want to be the one who like kept me out. I know. I was afraid she was just gonna kill them. Like every time she meets someone new, I'm like, oh god, uh, she's gonna kill them too. She, she Whenever she met Ed Sheeran, Sheeran. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, she's gonna kill all these people. And then she didn't kill she Ed didn't. Sheeran. Ugh, she didn't kill. I Ed hope Sheeran. he comes back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's not going to really wait around. She goes down to the crypts, and yeah. we get, we wait, get the wait, meeting. Wait, wait, wait. Can we talk about those two oh. guards and how they were oh, like the fuckers? founding members of Winterfell's improv team? Because they were definitely like... I feel like they grabbed those actors off of like an improv stage. Cause yeah, they gave they gave the characters a bunch of time, and then like they're pretty funny. Uh, when they go to talk to Lady Sansa, they're like, like the ones explaining. He mentioned, uh, uh, and then the other ones like Roderick, yeah, yeah, and um, Mister uh, Lewin. Lewin. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a funny yeah, scene. They were funny. I liked them. Yeah, I liked them, but it, they just seem like definitely like, oh, let's grab some like little. I feel like. They're potentially actors who I've met and done improv with, who I'm like, oh, dude, I saw you on Game of Thrones. <laughs> Good job, man. I like, also noticed they were that, like, now kind of tropey, like, Evan and Costello. Like, one of them was, like, tall and skinny. Oh. The other one's, like, shorter and fatter. And they're, like, threatening each other, like, if you don't do it, I'll hit you on the face. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right, what's next? Yeah, so they go in the crypts. That's where Sansa finds mm. her. Oh, God. So Chelsea had to pause it. I had to stop it to, like, go get tissues because I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't handle it. I was oh. like, mm. I was just already feeling very emotional. And then that happened, and I just started crying. I was uh. like, I need to stop this for, like, a second. It was a nice scene. It especially was, it was so sweet. They play a lot of uh, the music, like the Stark music, when she's mm -hmm. first in Winterfell looking around, and then they don't have any music when her and Sansa finally like meet and hug. Yeah, I but was... But whenever they were walking mm -hmm. around with Bran, they did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was nice. I was expecting... Uh, so I liked the scene, but I was expecting something different, and I had more of an expectation of them just putting aside their sisterly problems with each other and just like full-on, you know up the music sort of like Sansa and John's meeting where yeah. they're just like fucking hugging and I didn't get that but I liked it because yeah. they're in such different places than they were. Oh yeah, Dylan Fig actually says don't they never play music in the crypt? Is that so? Ooh, is that a thing? Ooh. I may need Ooh. to investigate. That's that's interesting. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Like, like it's so yeah, that would so make labyrinth. it feel like more isolated. S soundproof. And yeah, I do like this this the, the second hug. Yeah, oh, like, and then like, Arya oh, initiates I. it, yeah. and then they're like, "I bet your story's really long." And she's like, "Yeah, it's unpleasant." And then she's like, "Mine is too." But their stories aren't over yet. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also, like, uh, I wish someone had carved his face who knew him. Everyone okay. who knew him is dead. We're no, not dead. We're not dead. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think the statue looks really good, though. It looks like <laughs> him to me. Yeah, it's I did too. <laughs> yeah. it's close. Maybe not the face, I guess. Well, you right. guys aren't his daughters. The hair. So. That's true. Also, <laughs> it's we can just call up an image of him whenever we want, but it's been years for them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. Maybe should they forget? Uh, Phoebe Scheller asked, I didn't understand why Sansa was like, you got to call me Lady Stark now. I think she was just I think joking. it was a joke. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I think Arya, you know, they don't have that rapport yet. I think Arya might have taken it seriously. Like, uh, oh, I have to. Oh, okay. They're definitely adjusting to each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, it's a big adjustment because they, they, when they parted, they, they weren't. Also, they didn't get along. Yeah, they didn't I think, get along. too, Ever. maybe part of that moment was just like, because think of how Arya remembers Sansa is. She remembers Sansa is the type of person who would seriously be like, you have to call me Lady Stark mm -hmm. now. But the Sansa that is now is like someone who would say that as a joke. And yeah, you know, and I, I like that there's a moment of like her maybe not understanding that she's being a little sarcastic. And I think it's just a little like like little line that kind of shows how much Sansa's changed. Yes. 
one of our chat members who doesn't watch the show asked, "Game of Thrones has jokes? Game of Thrones can be super Game of Thrones can be funny. really, really funny. Yeah, it's not like a joyless show. It can be very funny. Yeah, kind of like Mad Men. Mad Men's fucking hilarious. Yeah, Mad Men's one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. <laughs> But this isn't about Mad Men. This is about Game yeah. of Thrones. And uh, so... Oh, oh, this scene had uh, a thing that they've been doing lately and two two tropes I don't really care for. Oh, Joel. I'm, I'll just get it in. Ugh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's a long story. I, I, I get that... Th- yeah. I get why a trope like that with Arya explaining, like, yeah, I'm not going to go into my past right now because why would we sit through that in detail? But uh, uh, yeah, it just, or like it's complicated. Well, it's a long story. Yeah, that trope. Yeah. But I like where they took it mm-hmm. right after that. And the same thing with the trope of I'm gonna say what I'm gonna do seriously, but then the other character laughs at it. But then you're like, oh no, but I was serious. But I'll laugh anyway. Like that. That's the oh, second Arya's time. Kill list. Yeah, that they've done that with well, Arya this season. What was the first? With uh, oh, Ed Sheeran and the kill Lannisters. The queen. Yeah. yeah, they're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, you got us. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, okay, well, we don't need to have that again. Hmm. But would you not laugh if a little girl was like, I'm gonna kill the queen <laughs> that you didn't know? I'd but be like, <laughs> okay. She's so stone faced about it. It's just like a, such a TV show thing that other TV shows do. Uh, sure, where they're sure. like, oh, but mm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Laugh track. Hey, is uh, is your guys' video choppy? Because I know I'm looking at. I was about to ask you about that. It's like, yeah, real laggy. Just let us know if it's laggy. I mean, last time this happened. Off. Yeah, last time this happened, the sound worked fine. So, uh, it's our internet. Man. Our internet. Pardon me. Uh, so then Sansa's like, hey, guess what? Bran's here, too. Mm, bummer. Mm, yeah. After, like, really great Sansa Arya reunion. Like, oh, yeah, and then this is going to be weird. And it's weird. And she's, like, excited about it, too. She's like, oh, Bran. Bran, wow. And then they go to see him. She's like, N- no. My kid <laughs> yeah, brother. Don't, don't get excited. But no. <laughs> you know what I really liked about this is that uh, when, s- when Arya goes to hug Bran and Bran has his, like, Brand bot face on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh he like looks at Sansa yeah, and weird. she sees him and she like she gets uncomfortable and looks away. But I, I really like that it's the exact same face he had when she hugged him upon meeting him, but she wouldn't have seen him do that. So it's like she's seeing now the thousand yard stare. Yeah, like, and like mm-hmm. so like in this scene she's seeing him maybe she's thinking like, is this how he looked when I fucking hugged him yeah. like the other day? Because like this Although, sucks. He did at least wrap his arm around her. I thought he would just be like, initiate pack <laughs> yeah. sequence. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's something. <laughs> I said, when that scene started, I just was like, oh, Arya, yeah, I know. You were going to be here. Like, it just, uh I'm surprised <laughs> that he didn't, oh, God, what's the most traumatic thing to happen to Arya? Everything. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't <laughs> pick one Mirror thing, but Trent. like, Maybe. Yeah, like, probably like oh all yeah. that stuff. You left the hound to die. Oh, He's yeah, yeah, back yeah. now, though. <laughs> I don't think Arya knows that Rickon's dead. I mean, she probably does at this Dude, point. Dude, they never fucking talk they about don't Rickon. Yeah. Yeah. That bothers It kind of sucks. Yeah. Because no one talks about Rickon, no one talks about Tommen. <laughs> like, we, you know. At least Cersei and Jamie had a they scene. They had a quick like, scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. I but wish that stuff lingered more. Tom and especially. They're not gonna have like group therapy about Rick and mm. like it's not. It's but like at least give us a fucking line about yeah. it. Yeah, like, I mean Sansa has to know because she's been she's been with John. Sansa this whole knows time. for sure. Yeah. Bran had obviously knows everything. So sure, <laughs> but we don't. Yeah, yeah, he knows everything. But like Arya doesn't know. I don't it's, think she does. I mean, she's finding out that people are alive from her family left and right. I, I just hope that she doesn't think, well, Bran's back. Sounds is here. Where's Rickon? Yeah, where's Rickon? <laughs> oh. oh, no. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, sorry. He was killed last season, and also he had no character because they didn't give him any lines. Rickon was forgotten when he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. My, that's one of my favorite um, TV show book disparities is that in the show, like, Rickon's just dead, and it was kind of whatever, and he wasn't really a character. The book's like, we don't really know where Rickon is and the theory is that he's <laughs> on like Skagos, which is an island where there's like cannibals mm-hmm. and unicorns. <laughs> anyway, <She's> not lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fa- it's my favorite like canon disparity because they're so completely different. Anyway, oh yeah, Bran does ask who owned this dagger, right? Yes. And Littlefinger says he doesn't know, and Bran says someone someone wealthy. Yeah. So Bran doesn't know. 
he should. It was or is he choice. trying to hint like, to yeah, who it is? I always get confused about that stupid dagger. Because whose is it really? It is that was important? It was Littlefingers. Well, it sounds like it's important. I think it's Littlefingers because... But, like, where'd he get it from? Yeah, exactly, where'd he get it from? Oh, well, didn't he win King... it in a wager? Yeah, no, I no, no, it was no, no he Robert. didn't. No, that was a lie. No, it's a lie. lie. That's why I get confused because truth. I always forget that that wager isn't a thing mm -hmm. because Tyrion would never bet against Jamie. Exactly. So that didn't... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. I bet we'll see that line of, like, who owned this dagger come up in a recap sometime soon. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, someone says you look just like Cersei. Thank God, you. I'm so pissed at this choppy ass video, man. Me too. It's a bummer. Sorry, guys. It's a real bummer. I'm gonna call. Uh, I'm gonna call. What is it now? What do we have? Spectrum Xfinity. I don't know. I'm gonna call someone a bitch and be like, "Hey, people need to know Game of Thrones stuff, and we're trying to let them know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not helping. It wasn't. Oh, I'm it. so sorry, sir. <laughs> I'll, I'll get right on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's. The it was attitude. not Tyrion's. <laughs> Was yeah, Tyrion's. it was not Tyrion's because Tyrion does not bet against his family. That was a lie so that Littlefinger could frame Tyrion slash mm. the Lannisters for the murder or yeah. attempted murder of Bran. Anyway. I was tried. it not the Lannisters, though? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Mm, no. What? Uh, I think well, Joffrey mm -hmm. acquired it mm -hmm. from Littlefinger because Joffrey is the one who sent the cat's paw. Yeah. yeah. So, and but he's a Lannister. I mean. Mm. But it wasn't. He didn't get it. Littlefinger didn't get it from the Lannisters. Is what people are confused Where about. Where did I get that dagger? Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Someone will Google it and correct us. Yeah, I it feels it so long ago. That Robert's stupid good. knife. Why would he? I don't know. Uh, to to Dragonstone. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, there's more. Anything else? Yeah, anything else about uh that little oh Stark reunion? Uh, well, I guess we, oh. I guess we get later mm -hmm. the awesome fight scene. But oh sure, let's go. Yeah. Let's just go and talk about that now. Let's wrap up that plot. Yeah, let's wrap up that plot. Uh, so Bri Brienne is training Pod, and Arya walks in, and Ugh, water so dances awesome. her mm. way into Brienne's heart. Ugh, I loved great. that scene. Uh, Me too. Was it you who said you're my new mommy now? Oh, <laughs> was it Erica? <laughs> yeah, shout out to Erica. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I loved. <sighs> Like the joy on both of their faces, how much fun they were having. They're like, yeah, we're Brand like being like, oh, look at you, and then Arya's like, yeah, look at me, mm. look at you. <laughs> it was so sweet. Maisie Williams must have been doing some training. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. that was can handle that sword. Good part mm -hmm. of it. When she when she like when Brienne's like, oh, that's a nice dagger. She's like, yeah, here. <laughs> you can look at it. Right. <laughs> oh, it was so good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't think that's like a, a stunt double doing that shit. I no, think that's, that's just Maisie. Left-handed too. Oh, I know. Is she left-handed or nope. is she? Oh, she just does everything left-handed because Arya's left-handed. Amazing. Yep. Iconic. So good. It's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I love that. <laughs> so the um, when Sansa walks into that scene, mm -hmm. she's walking with Littlefinger and talking about like strategy, mm -hmm. just the two of them. Yeah. So she hasn't gotten rid of him as an advisor. I know. I'm. Not confused by it, but I'm just wondering, like, what? Because, yeah, we saw her in an earlier scene be like, get out, like. Yeah, she uh, knows he's shady as fuck. I'm yeah. just wondering why she's still keeping him around. And, like, yeah, treating him as an advisor. Does I she have a crush? <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. What? What? A crush? <laughs> I think part of it is she understands how much he knows, and she understands how much he is like obsessed with her and i think she's still at the point where she thinks she can handle him and can manipulate him because she knows like how into her he is oh you think so and i think she's like well he knows a lot i i feel like i can control him sorry i'm getting attacked for saying that they're discussing strategy they're discussing grain amounts i'm sorry it's running a castle oh jesus okay? christ it's strat strategic run it's strategy a if you're playing like a casual <laughs> app game, like with a like farm, where you like <laughs> yeah, it's strategy collecting the grain too. and like yeah. sieve, yeah, like yeah. something like that. That's part of yeah. strategy Guys, is the feeding alive. your fucking people, okay? <laughs> oh my god! So you can fuck off. They're discussing <laughs> strategy, and he was helping her because she loves him. 
said yeah. it's not true. Yeah, no. I'm just saying that. But yeah, he is intelligent mm-hmm. very much. And uh, probably, too, in addition to what you were saying, Chelsea, the Army of the Veil, he, she doesn't want it to go anywhere. And I guess he's the price of admission to having it there that she'll tolerate him and try and use yeah. him for the time being. Mm-hmm. She's real scared to lose that army. Yeah. And also, um, don't forget in episode, the first episode of the season, she talks about how she learned a lot from Cersei. And what is one of the things that Cersei told Sansa to always remember is like uh, the weapon between her legs oh. and to use her, her, you know, like that Cersei desire Cersei as a weapon. And I think maybe that's in the back of Sansa's head is like no, like understanding the feelings that Littlefinger has for her nice. and using them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. I'm s- yeah. Oh shit! I'm suddenly now s- seeing more of a parallel to Cersei with the way that Ramsay was just like eaten by his own dogs. The that, like that I could just now sh- envision Cersei walking away with that smile. Like that's a Cersei thing to you know, walk away from Alari and Tyene and just... Oh, sure. Or like the... Or Septo and Ella mm. in yeah. the mountain. There's like that exact same shot. It's both of them leaving with like a smile. Yeah. Of having bested their enemies. Mm. Yeah. And then Arya leaves the phrase with a smile, right? Yeah. Doesn't she have a little smirk when she's walking away? I don't remember I don't a smirk. So. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of... I'm yeah. Sure it happened, though. I think it did. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah, and Sansa's hairstyle is a style Very similar to Cersei's. It's like Cersei yeah. season like two. two or three, yeah. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> sorry to always bring it back to Littlefinger, but you know that Littlefinger was just standing on that ledge with Sansa <laughs> in the same place that Ned and Catelyn mm-hmm. stood in the pilot over watching their kids train. Oh. Oh. Standing there with Sansa, oh. watching Arya train with Brienne and, and like being like, <laughs> I'm the Lord of Wind. I have yeah. taken his place. That's what he wants. Yes. Yes. He does, that's the thing with him is he's got such a fixation on Winterfell and Sansa and Catelyn that like he doesn't want to be king he just wants to be like lord no, of winter no show well. show little finger said he wants to be he king. wants to be king I remember he told sound that's true the, i'm confusing w- it with like yeah book little like, who I just like to sit on the iron throne with you as my queen <sighs> but real little finger i think just wants winterfell he just wants winterfell mm, yeah yeah what did you make of sansa walking away from that because it wasn't just sort of an expression of her seeing oh this is who my sister is now, adjusting expectations, but she had sort of a negative look and then left. Oh. Is that a negative After the look? fight? Yeah, I thought that I she was she's just adjusting shocked. to how murdery her little sister is. She's realizing that the list wasn't a joke. Yeah. That's true. That yeah. happened in the, the previous scene. Bran kind of confirmed it. Yeah. For sure. But then, yeah, um, someone in the chat mentioned, too, like, Littlefinger hangs around and gives a little smile. What's, what's he have to smile about this? Because you mentioned, like, it's a good point. Like, he should probably be afraid of Arya and her skills. I read it. I read his smile as more of, like, an oh, shit. Kind of <laughs> like, uh, all right, That's I'll give you mode. the <laughs> head nod of, like, acknowledgement. And then him internally being like, I got to think about some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For some of that stuff, I wish that w- it, the camera lingered on him a little more or, like, gave those, uh, like, micro expressions that would tell me really what he's thinking, but uh, I like your read, and he just doesn't give that, or doesn't show us enough of that. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> so that's Winterfell. Yeah. Let's move on to Dragonstone, and we'll uh, hang out there until we get to the field. Oof. <laughs> yeah, you're here for the field, at least. Good, yeah. Because uh, that shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Before we get there, though, so Dragonstone, it's uh, first is Danny and Missan. Oh, yeah, talking about the many things oh. the Grey Worm did. That was some more tea spilling. That was so cute. Oh, yeah. it was like cute. TBFF, she's like, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me, Are everything. you kidding me? <laughs> it was nice to see a moment where they get to be like girls their yes. age and like not in charge of ruling the world or like trying to rule the world and they're like continent. such good like friends yeah. yeah yeah and i mean that comes out later too when miss andy defends mm-hmm. uh danny to john and uh davos saying that she's my queen because i chose her if i wanted to leave she'd let me i i don't believe that i know it so yeah yeah it seems like that they were trying to draw a parallel so that john could see more that 
he and Danny are very much alike in that sense. They, the people who support them support them because uh, not of who they are, but what they've done and that they believe in them. Yeah, which is something that would resonate with both John and Davos, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Uh, but their little girl talk was interrupted by John coming home from the mine. And, uh, I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Being like, oh, you have to come see I us. laughed so hard at that because they were about to talk about like some good, dirty stuff. And then I John's know. like, hi, I <laughs> found Dragon <laughs> <laughs> Like, cool, great, thanks, John. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, he's found a butt ton of uh, so Dragon much. Blast, mm. but, but, okay, I have a question because, yeah. I mean, okay, they haven't had a ton of time to explore Dragonstone. Mm-hmm. But all of its previous residents, it didn't seem like, did they have to like hack away at that cave to get to the dragon yeah, stone or was that cave just always kind of there open and no one explored and no it. one like went like walked like 10 feet into that cave and like saw yeah that's a great question i also. just saw what though all the all that the dragon glass. glass but or oh no i guess do they I, care i guess dan uh, i guess uh stan is st- i'm getting stan so is- messed up with names i guess stan is <laughs> did tell sam we have that on dragonstone oh he so did yeah 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 uh, oh, so then, yeah, okay, I guess. If they so I guess, like, they went in the cave, was like, oh, a bunch of dragon glass, and then, like... Okay, out. that okay, that they makes did, me feel better. But they didn't go I, deeper. I genuinely was curious. It wasn't me pointing out, like, this is dumb, that cave yeah. isn't yeah, yeah, even yeah. hidden. I just was curious if anyone had found it. I'm no, so they knew... Uh, how, how do you mine dragon glass? It's like mining said hack it to bits. He did say, yeah, John used the phrase, like, hack it I to bits. I think literally so. just get shards of it to make yeah. into weapons. Mm, okay. How do they I don't, make it into a weapon? Uh, you cut an arrowhead. You, just hit you literally just cut mm. a sharp piece and tie yeah, it with rope onto off. a spear. I think that's literally what they're going to do. Mm. Oh, also, we were saying how uh, last time John was in a cave with a lady, <laughs> he showed her a good time. He showed I didn't her even that think Lord's of that. Kiss. Oh. He's like, I need to sh- come with me further. I need to show you something. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. he does. Yeah, yeah. he had that from <laughs> Dario or that anyone Lord's else. Kiss. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Yeah, it don't matter that they're aunt and nephew. I yeah. don't want that. Yeah, you do. I it love when that. this show is just You like freaked out when he grabbed her arm. Because I was like, <gasps> yeah. This yeah. is, okay, happened. this is the thing I love so much about Game of Thrones mm-hmm. and Song of Ice and Fire is that <laughs> when I explain to people who aren't familiar <laughs> with the series, like, yeah, like, okay, so, like, John and D- it's, like, their aunt and nephew, and it's cool, like, a lot of people ship them together, and it's, like, yeah. the standards in this fan community for like what's okay um relationship wise is so low yeah. that when we find out someone's an aunt and nephew it's fine so yeah. hey at least they're not twins they're not twins and yeah. they're not like siblings that <laughs> are like they're not parent like parent child it's like cool yeah yo tywin and joanna lannister were cousins they were cousins yep. yeah Mm-hmm. And even, I don't know, even the brother-sister with Cersei Jamie thing, the way it's just treated as, like, not a big deal for Cersei last episode, I feel like the show is, like, building towards, like, hey, incest is okay. It's yeah. not even, like, the incest part of it that makes me wa- not want them to be together. Oh, what is it? I don't know. I just, like, I just want, the, I, I just want them to be bros. To be, like, friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, but, like, help but each other Davos, out. But Davos oh, points okay. out that, uh... You're looking at her titties, Davos Davos ships them. Davos ships it. <laughs> He's like, yo, you were looking at her big heart. <laughs> and John's like, oh, there's no time for that. Mm-hmm. I have to be down. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was super cute. He, they were talking about like, he, They were what? talking about like, oh, she has a good heart. And Dolph was like, I, sh- I, that sounds like little finger. <laughs> I saw you looking at her big heart. Oh, to John and it was like I a thought quick he moment. said um, like speaking of big heart and then he did it was did after that. that. Was his so was speaking of big transition. Titty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, God. Is that what he meant? No. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I thought no. he was like, ooh, Miss No, I think he genuinely he really likes Miss so and respects with her. her. I didn't understand, yeah. like, the first interaction that they had. <laughs> I didn't understand it. I didn't know if he was Things like, have changed around here. I yeah. really think <laughs> it was, like, such a cute portrayal of, like, older... Like, and this is very like contemporary, but like older white guy, like not knowing how to interact with someone who's not white because he doesn't ever. Yeah, he doesn't sure, yeah. know. And he's he's like, like yeah, Rossi cool. Group. Like, Noth is, is cool. It's oh nice God. there. You know, like it, it was re- kind of sweet. I liked it. <laughs> it was like a little contemporary. Oh, isn't Davos still married? Yeah. Yeah, Davos yeah. is still married, guys. Yeah, he's married. Yeah. Fun fact, he has a wife that's like somewhere. None of us have ever seen her. No. 
But Sandy is not the daughter Davos never had. He has had many of He's had, yeah, many. Many of daughters adoptive. that he never had, but Missandei's not one of them. No, no she's that, doing that fine. was Shireen. No one's going to replace Shireen. Yeah, for Davos. and then he had a little moment with Liana, and then, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh but hey, guys, back to that cave. Oh, that mine. Right. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine. So uh, John shows Danny some. Um, some drawings and and D and D in the after show segment. Oh, I missed it. Okay, yeah, they right. mentioned they did compare it to the French cave. They just <gasps> said French cave. The French but, cave paintings. That's uh, I'm descended from them. <laughs> from the painters. From the, from <laughs> the cave painters. <laughs> yeah. Because oh. my family, my mom's side of the family is French, and uh, my, one of my uncles did like that National Geographic like DNA test where it gives you like a map of like where your family's from, and it like it like tracks like where you're from so one of the regions that my family's from is that region in france and like back from when those paintings would have been a thing that's really cool it's cool but also like a lot of people are descended from because it was so long ago that chances are you're descended from them too it's just we did a dna test <laughs> so. i want to do one of those it's cool so, so i i made the joke and then mm -hmm. also liz Lizzie and we Erica made, made the, the same, same joke. joke. Was that like John shows her the pictures of the White Walkers, and then it's like two hours earlier, and it's John drawing like, <laughs> "Oh this yeah, will her. this will show that the Whoa, White Walkers look at these are crazy real." Crazy children of the forest drawing. I got to find some blue paint for the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they were very detailed drawings. <laughs> yeah. Only the blue eyes were colored too. They <laughs> had to make sure it was blue. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah. I but the like stupid like art nerd in me was case. like where did they get blue pigment because that's like hard mm -hmm. to find anyway it's expensive oh yeah exactly maybe it was magic uh yeah he's brushing the chalk off his hands like oh <laughs> <laughs> uh ash H. we're probably pretty closely related actually if you're oh, saying yeah. anyway genealogy is cool um yeah. oh a lot of those patterns Erica. were children of the forest but uh i think maybe they noted in the after a little D and D talk that those are also the symbols of the White Walkers. They have the same symbols because they borrowed from them. Got that spiral. The sp oh, the spirals. Yeah, on the like yeah. how they place bodies is how like trees were planted or other things like that. Mm -hmm. mm. I've seen a child of the forest throw a perfect spiral. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> but yeah, so much sexual tension in that scene. There was a quite a bit. It was nice. Yeah, I, I like it. their chemistry. I want to watch yeah. it. I do too. I I feel like I it feels real to me, and I, it wouldn't feel forced if their characters were a romantic pairing. Although I still want Danny to be a villain. Well, didn't they? Weren't they together in real life? No. No, that's John. John and Egret, yeah. who are engaged that, now. Before that, weren't they? Oh, Amelia Clark and Kit Harrington. I thought they were dating, what? like in season one too. Oh, maybe. But then oh. he. Someone please Google. Then he dated <laughs> Egret. Yeah, Rose now they're. Then they broke up for a little bit, and they got back together. Oh, now they're yay. engaged, and they just bought a very cute house. I oh, care yeah. about it a lot in England. Oh, it's fuck like that. no, it's England. so beautiful. It's like English. It's like a. <laughs> it's like a 15th century like old school like cottage. It's so beautiful. We don't have old stuff like that here. No. Uh, they come out the cave, and so, so a dwarf and a eunuch go on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they tell good. their queen that their plan went horribly awry. Oh, no. That yeah. I could, it was like two little kids just like so... It's like, it's like they did their chores, but in the process, they broke, broke a, a window. window. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they're just both, uh, they're, they are good at their jobs, which is like information and politics. And I don't think Tyrion's the best at strategy. Uh, excuse me. Blackwater begs to differ. He, he did city. what he could, but he wouldn't the have saved the city without time. So away. the yeah, thing with, true. yeah, the thing about Tyrion is he is a very good advisor. He's not a good wartime advisor. Um, Oh, he's like church, or no, he's the opposite of Churchill. He's, yeah, he's the opposite he's of Churchill. Inverse Churchill. Um, and yeah, like you pointed out, yes, Blackwater, but they would have lost if mm. Tywin didn't show up. Yeah. Still, like you know who got he bought them time for the for Tywin. Yeah. Yeah, we know. We know, honey. <laughs> I felt so bad that. because hey. whenever he was laying the plan out, I was like, yeah, this is a great plan. This is gonna work. Yeah. It's and I still like. I tend to. I, I'm tending to side with Tyrion in his discussions with Danny, where he's like, you can't be more of the same, which is why I still have faith that they're going to build her up to be a bad guy. Well, yeah, she, because I saw some of it this episode. Yes. Well, she, well yes. she's definitely like, she wants to go that route. She wants to take her dragons to King's Landing. And it's, it's, uh, I mean, with Tyrion having failed in his yeah, plan, she turns to John. 
Yes. And John's the one who's able to convince her, no, don't do this. So, uh, Brett, I can't read it. Brett H. Is that right? No, no. Danny says needs Danny needs Jorah. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Oh, she and needs, needs Jorah. Next episode. I forgot about Because Jorah. Jorah needs to be, um, I think he specifically is really good for Danny because he was introduced as the person in the first few seasons who was able to advise her because he knew Westeros, but also knew Essos. And again, I think that's going to come in handy here is like now he's able to like advise someone who basically is from Essos now about Westeros, where before yeah. it was like almost the inverse. Oh my God, Mary Kate Guma says inverse Churchill sounds like something Littlefinger might have have instructed his employees to do in season Uh, one. Nice. The old inverse Churchill. (laughs) Um, Do an inverse Churchill. (laughs) (laughs) You can talk about politics and uh, positions at the same time. Yes. Uh, Uh, Oh, and yeah, I feel like Jorah also connects her to who she is in a way that she doesn't get with some of her advisors because he's just the one who was with her sort of from the beginning of who she is now. Well, so is Miss Sandy. Well, we, I don't know, we met her like when she was fully like post Karth. Miss Sandy uh, wasn't with her for the Red Sea, like the yeah. for Red like Waste. For like Cal Drogo and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Jorah's, Jorah was there. It's Yeah, it's weird. Jorah's been with her for like her, like in the beginning she was almost like an offering of Westeros, even though she's never, she doesn't remember Westeros, but she still was very like, she was Westeros, like she was given being given to the Dothraki as yeah. like a very like yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. rare specimen, and mm-hmm. like you know, mm-hmm. so it was like so Jorah was in the position of then advising Viserys, who is like Westeros, come to Essos, and now I think he needs to come back to advise Danny, who's now basically Essos, come to Westeros, is what I mean. Yeah, and he's yes. like one of the only people who can do that for her. Um. We got a little bit of that Mad Queen when she was attacking, not attacking, but sort of throwing it back at Tyrion when he was saying that, like, well, it's uh, still a good plan. Our enemies are just, you know, good at this. And she's like, oh, our enemies. You mean your family? family, Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Danny. It was like a little irrational, and that's where I was. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it's that irrational, like. Same thing when they were in the cave, and she was like, I will help you if if you bend the knee. knee. That's right. Which. I get it. I like, don't. I don't even take a side in that. I don't care. I know. I'm just like, just fucking do just it. Bend just it. bend. Oh, really? I don't. I bend the knee. Ca- I get where, jo- where John's I'm coming from. Them. I'm like, I, I'm like, John, just bend the knee, or Danny, just fucking help him. I don't care. One of you do something. Yeah. Well, like, that's why they're so perfect for each other because exactly. neither of them wants well, to. Well, it's down. bad because they, like, are both in these positions where like the choices they make now are either going to like really endear them to their people or like completely destroy their reputation with the mm. people they want to rule. Like John's in a position where he is being asked to bend the knee, which he knows the North is not going to be happy about. Yeah. And Danny's in the position where she's like, I want to like take out King's Landing with dragons. And it's like, <laughs> no, you need to not do that or else you're not going <laughs> to be able to rule these people. Like no one's going to be loyal to you. So they're both like, kind of having to grapple with like what's going to make me an effective leader in the long run versus like what's going to make the biggest difference right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, if they just marry each other, problem solved, yeah. <laughs> problem solved. Stephanie said the north is literally Texas. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I just think I just think he should bend the knee, then she helps them and saves everyone's but, and don't you think the North would just be like, oh, yeah, maybe that was a good decision so mm. that we could have our dragons. But what would they do But maybe, that? But think of, like, but think of... This like, is the part okay. I hate about Game of Thrones. Like, it's the honor and the pride and, yeah. like, yeah. But then like, get over it. But then think of what they were telling John before he left. Like, what did... Like, think about what her family did to your family. I was saying, yeah. so. It's like, think of what, you know her father did to our grandfather and I can't imagine how much turmoil it's going to cause in the North. If John bends the knee to the Targaryens, like that is going to create such a PR problem <laughs> for him when he gets back. And he's, also he's no one's going to respect him. And, and more than any other King in the North we've seen where, or, or just, you know, even Ned as Lord of Winterfell, uh, these were inherited titles. There was a certain amount of power that went along with that. I think John is the most like representative uh, we- leader we've seen because he's basically there looking out for his people, but only at 
like he's fully representing his people. He is not willing to just like be a politician and be like, well, now that I'm in power, I want to make this decision. Like he's always keeping in mind he's accountable to them. Like yeah. he, noth- he, he has no power otherwise. I also wish Danny would just be like, okay, that's fine. I'll just be queen of the six kingdoms. <laughs> oh and man, sure, yeah. you, can, you can stay but king. No, Danny, yeah, she's too powerful. It would never happen. And I guess you got to think about like political capital. Like John's already expended some of it, being like, well, now we're friends with wildlings, and uh, no, we're gonna that's train the thing. women too. He's like exhausted any goodwill he has with True. the North. He's like, like okay, we can yeah, we can deal with wildlings, and we can you know like okay. Sure, but like he's not gonna be able to push them any farther than that. And Justine W is asking, why does Danny want the North so bad? Sh- Danny is driven by a sense of entitlement. It's her birthright. And someone else asked, why do we hate Danny so much? She we, just said that too. Yeah, we d- we don't. I don't. I don't hate Danny. I don't hate Danny. I, I like Danny I think now more than I ever. I do too, because I think Danny. We're finally starting to see why she's actually really complicated, and I think people. I think people dislike her when they have the image in her head that she she's supposed to be like an infallible good guy and she's not. She's really complicated. Um and I think once you start kind of thinking about why she's so complicated, she's a lot more interesting. Yeah. Um because she is an examination of like why birthright and the idea of birthright and entitlement to stuff just because of how you were born or like the family you were born to like really fucks with like long term what's best for the people you're ruling it's just i think she's really interesting yeah and yeah isn't like, everyone who's in a royal family entitled though yeah i yeah. mean they and are also, but that's part of the not, problem it's like are they really though let's not call her an entitled bitch let's not use that kind of language yeah. please yeah no she's i mean she is, i i agree that she's entitled she is entitled but like so is Everyone, yeah, so is on the show. Anyone who's part of like a family that's a name on this Santa, show so is, is entitled Cersei. because like. that's how Cersei's the most entitled. Mm-hmm. And I will call her an entitled bitch <laughs> because she is, and Ooh. she's my entitled bitch, oh, but she know. is. And that's part of what George, I think, specifically is trying to communicate with this series is like, this is what happens when you have people feeling entitled to land and titles and stuff just because everything about this universe is so arbitrary um especially when you consider now that like the people in charge of the respective kingdoms are like people who are in charge because just by default like john Mm -hmm. it's technically not he shouldn't be in charge of the north but he just kind of is and it's just i don't know but i think that's part of it uh, so the next thing we have on Dragonstone is that scene we talked about already a bit with John and Davos, uh, just Davos kind of prodding John. Uh, there was also I missed it when we watched it, but I caught it here. Uh, John <laughs> says that we have ten thousand less men, and Davos is like fewer. And John says, "What? <gasps> they, they oh, I missed back. that. It was the three. Oh, yeah, oh, they brought Davos. it back for the third time, and Davos got to do it. That's amazing. I don't understand what's happening. Uh, uh, Twice so in this back. show, yeah. yeah, Davos has said because he's such a not learned guy. You know, he's he's uh, someone of low birth. Right. Has said, um, like we have this many number less than whatever. And Stannis has corrected him <laughs> oh, twice, he saying corrected you. Fewer. Yeah. And Davos corrected said, Davos. I, oh. "I think the second time though, it wasn't Davos, it was someone else in uh, the Night's Watch when they were up there, and Davos was just being, or not Davos, but Stannis was just throwing it back at him, just like oh, you're right. I d- it was definitely yeah. during the Night's Watch, like uh, Lord Commander election scene. Yeah, I don't remember if it was Davos or not, but it was definitely during that scene. And yeah, it was Stannis being like, "Fewer what." And then, yeah, so Davos has learned and threw That's it back so at John. He can read and he can I, know grammar. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say before we move on, because I want to talk about <laughs> feel the feel the fire. Mm-hmm. Um, I just love thinking about all the character parallels between Davos and Missandei. They make me really happy. And I want to see more of them together because they're so similar. Oh, coming from low birth. Yeah, being, they're uh, being advisors to specifically the people who have ruled Dragonstone. Oh, yeah. And mm. I think that they could be really good friends and learn a lot from each other. See, when he said fewer... I thought he was saying we have even less than ten thousand. Oh, okay. So I didn't I no, didn't get yeah. that it was like a grammar joke. correction. Yeah. Uh, that's way better. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And then they talked to Miss Sandy and we've already discussed how she, you know, uh, champions Danny and then Oh Beyond. Beyond. I almost forgot Ooh. that happened. Yeah. I feel like I watched this yeah, in yeah. the <laughs> So I don't know about <laughs> you guys, but I never once 
had the thought, what happens when John and Theon reunite? Yeah, same. Until Theon was dragging his boat ashore and John was standing there, and holy shit, everything floods back. John has never liked Theon. No. He has always <laughs> thought of him as an arrogant prick, exactly what he was when John knew him. Mm-hmm. And then I believe John had heard that Theon had killed his brothers, right? Brandon yes. Brandon Rickon yeah. somehow. But then he found out from Sansa that that wasn't the case, that Theon had like helped her escape. And Ramsay's yeah, Theon, Theon ransacked Winterfell. And yeah, yeah. He, knew, he knew about that too. Yeah. And, yeah. So and that he betrayed Rob. Yeah, all of oh, it, yeah. all He's, of it. Oh, so I, much. I literally hadn't thought about that reunion at all because yeah. there's so many potential reunions I've been thinking yeah. about <laughs> because <laughs> this about this just, season is like good off the rails crazy <laughs> yeah, that yeah, I hadn't even. There's so many permutations basically of characters that can meet, and yeah. it would be really interesting that I hadn't gotten down the list to like John and <laughs> Theon, yeah. and then it happened. I was like, shit. He's gonna kill him. He's just gonna like throw him into the sand. I wanted and them just, to like, fight. Stomp his face no. in oh, the sand. Oh, that wouldn't have been a fight. That would have been oh, a well, beat yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it actually would have wanted. <laughs> oh god, Theo, he just would have curled up in a ball. Yeah, I just wanted a punch. and it wouldn't have been satisfying. Just yeah. one punch. Because he would. Sure, we all wanted that punch, but I think John's. The only reason I'm not kill- murdering you right now is because of what you did for Sansa. Yeah, and it makes Which, sense. Which, like, please clap. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good. Theon, you, oh, you pathetic I know. little yeah. boy. I, I don't think he's going to get help to go get Yara. When is he going to die? Guys. I do want to at least talk quickly about Theon. I, I want to preface by saying fuck Theon forever. But <laughs> yeah. Theon... Is is hard because I think I always forget um, how much PTSD he has, so and I think much. a part of that is because he's a male character, and I think it's my own and maybe even a lot of yours own. Stop it! <laughs> is this foreshadowing? Is Lucy? <laughs> um, is Lucy eating Ferris's head? Uh, is that foreshadowing? I think it's my own bias and maybe um, viewer bias and reader bias. And I mm. think it's a point that that George has tried to make with Theon's character is that I admit to giving him a harder time because he's a male character. And I think it's my implicit bias. And I'm like, he can deal with it. And oh. I forget that he has PTSD. He's been like, he's a legitimately traumatized character. Yeah. And I think... I truly admit that if he was a female character, I think I would be more aware of that. Hmm. I feel... Because that's yeah. we don't often get to see men in media grapple with mental illness, mental trauma, PTSD. And I think Theon is a really good character to do that with because he starts off as someone so unsympathetic. That it make it forces you to kind of look at what trauma has done to him because he's like a shell of a man. Anyway. Yeah, that's there's a right Theon thoughts. No, I, I've never thought that before. <laughs> but that's, also fuck Theon. That seems really right. But also, I will admit, like it's my own like perception of like how maybe how men handle things versus how women handle things. Yeah. And yeah. that's something that is that the series tries to like deconstruct and stuff. Yeah. Liz, it looks like you. Have yeah, I just like uh, yeah. I for a while I felt bad for Theon, and I was like, okay, well he's been through a lot, but like so is everyone else. So mm-hmm. is Sansa, and she's way better than him. <laughs> and so uh, I think Sansa is actually one of the the few characters who, like you know, you don't want to rank someone's trauma, but if you were forced to, I think Sansa is one of the few characters who could be up there with Theon because, you know, she was raped by Ramsay yeah. and that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Theon's castrated. Like his his the thi- especially for Theon, what he kind of defined himself through was his like it was a very sexual character. Mm-hmm. Uh not saying he, that he did True. that in a good way by any means. He was pretty awful with it, but like to just be have your you know your dick cut off, and but it's a lot of people in the show have had their dick. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's ag- again, it's why Not the violent, universe probably. is so good, is because all of these characters are so genuinely different, and so genuinely differently equipped to deal with trauma. Yeah, and and yeah. You got obviously the Unsullied. There are eunuchs. Th- uh, 
it I'm not trying to I'm not justifying anything that happened to them when they were children that's that's different than being a, a grown adult and having that happen um right kind of I, I think I, too, I think probably s- not done as quite I as think literally like scientifically and, and and someone if I'm wrong about this like please tell me but I think scientifically it's proven that children are more well equipped to handle traumatic events than something happening to you like later in life i think maybe i might be i might be wrong I'm, but I, i'm always kind yeah. of grateful that like like it sounds fucked up but all my grandparents died when i was like youngish and i'm like i'm glad i don't have to deal with that right now as an mm. adult and like have that like emotional weight on me you know that's true all yeah. my grandparents were dead too yeah cool. it's like that it sucked when it happened when i was a kid but i got over it yeah. and now i'm like cool don't gotta deal with it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i wonder but if well, no. It's Aria was. I was thinking about Aria's trauma, yeah. but she's old enough but that yeah. it, it has affected her in a and meaningful way. And also, remember, all of season three was Theon, like Theon Ramsey torture hour. Like it's like, uh-huh. yeah, it was. It a wasn't lot. just and like a that. quick and one and done. It I was. think it's very purposeful writing that we sit here and many viewers are mm-hmm. like, Theon needs to fucking get, like deal with it and like man up. You know, yeah. I, I I think it's very intentional that he's like the character that this happens to. Yeah, and you weren't here, I think, when we just because like you were here for the episode when the attack happens and he jumps ship, and then I I think you weren't here for the following episode where I and Gressel at least I don't, I don't remember if you vocalized it or not, but we like rescinded our criticism of Theon jumping ship because it was yeah. like. Yeah, he's looking around. He's seeing people getting mutilated. He's been in that position before. What's he going to do? If he, like, runs after Yara with Yara, he's just going to kill Yara. Mm-hmm. Sh- sure, man. Just jump yeah, shit. Yeah, he couldn't have done anything. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. he could I done. think I reacted at the time more strongly because I was just not having uh, the writing taking another turn of Theon sort of having need of a redemption arc. But then I definitely softened because I was thinking mm, this would be his reaction. And I appreciate that they're telling that story. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I mean, just Justine W says I specialize in trauma treatment in college. It's not that children deal with trauma better; it's more that it becomes their norm. Okay, I don't. Know I was literally. I worse. was hoping. I was like someone who like knows what they're talking about. I hope they yeah. are in the chat. Thank you, because like I, I'm just I pulled that out of my ass. I like don't actually know anything about that. It's just something like I thought I heard somewhere maybe. In um, any case, because none of us sound qualified to discuss. We're not. <laughs> Abs- I went to film school. We all, we <laughs> like, I'm not. I listen I, to, I like. I do have a brain behavior and cognitive science. Yeah, I diploma. listen to <laughs> podcasts about stuff and think it makes me an expert. <laughs> and I'm not. But in any case, Theon is a wonderfully complex character. And yeah. is just uh, the epitome of this universe and its, its complex characters and how yes. you can hate and love someone at the same yeah. time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, you understand what he's been through, but also it's, like, just an, uh, it's frustrating to watch him do the thing still. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think people have talked about Theon's final uh, place in the world. And, like, I know that him being on the wall is a, is a idea. Although, you know, the wall's probably not going to exist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, like, being parts of, part of the Night's Watch Whoa. would be a nice place for him to end up. Do we still think that that's finale this season? The wall coming down? Yeah. I have no idea. There's three episodes left. We haven't even been at the wall. Do you think they're going to have a whole season that the wall's the wall. going to be down? Maybe. 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 That might I be would like that. Next yeah. season might just be, like, the long night. I all, don't know. All battles. <laughs> Who the fuck knows anymore? Yeah. It's not clear. Field of fire. Whoa. Yes. Field of fire. This is it. This is this is the thing. So, uh, yeah, we're getting into the battle now. We're getting into the last part of this episode. Field of fire is a thing that happened in the history of Game of Thrones. It was when the Targaryens uh, destroyed the ruling house of the Reach, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And um, the, the gardeners. Yes. House gardener. It, it is extinguished house gardener. Because and then Tyrells were made the rulers of the Reach. Yeah. So the original Field of Fire is a historic battle as part of the conquest of Westeros. And yes. I literally just now realized that it's like, of course, that happened outside of High Garden. Then it did not happen outside. It of High didn't. Fun. It was outside yeah. of landing. Fuck. Well, the, okay. That's so, what I thought so too. the first the first scene of the episode is Jamie and Bronn, and they're loading the garden from High Guard. Uh, I'm sorry, they're loading the gold from High Guard, and they're outside of High Garden. The episode, as many in this season and past seasons have done, uh, plays loose and fast with distance and time it takes to travel distance. In this final scene, <laughs> the beginning of it is Randall Tarley coming up <laughs> to Bronn and Jamie and being like, "All of the gold is safely inside King's Landing's walls." 
Mm-hmm. He says that very deliberately. It's very important information. Also, yeah. if you, what did he say? He was like, I, if you whip stragglers, that, that the boys, the beatings will continue until morale approves. Like that's basically like Randall. Is a good way that's for Randall morale. Tarley. Yeah, like, that's yeah. for sure. That's yeah. Ethos. Maybe give them a heads up. And they're first. all and and I love the look that Jamie and Bron give him. Like no one, no one likes Randall. Yeah, no. Yeah. One. Everyone's scared of Randall, but oh. no one likes him. You know who we didn't really track in the battle? Randall. Where was Randall in that that's battle? A good question. I thought I he know. left. Saw Dickon. Where would he be? I he might be escorting. Rode line? ahead of them. Hmm. He because probably looked back and was like. Because then they had that whole conversation with Dickon by so himself. Yeah, Di- so yeah, Dickon has a, a conversation Dickin. with them. <laughs> she knew Dickon. Uh, I don't know. We we kind of discussed this a little bit in the beginning. So can we just jump into this battle? Because they're like yeah. right after that conversation with Dickon, Bron's like, I "Wait, do you hear that?" Yes. Also, love before we forget, Bron asking his name, yeah. and he's like, "Dickon." <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Uh, nice. <laughs> oh, and they mentioned before oh, yeah, it was. happens that uh, that the army is stretched yeah. a bit thin, so they're not in a good position for when this attack happens. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, he does yeah. say he specifically says we're we're stretched thin for oh. call, Joel. And then Jamie Bron says Bron just like hears it. Noise? Oh. And then it was uh, so funny. It's great it because like. For a while, you ju- you hear it, but you don't see it. Yeah. That's how many of them there and are. And when you finally see it, it's such a faraway shot. It's that so you look, low. Yeah, you're just looking at the horizon. You're like, I think something's there. And you just see, like, some white. Yeah. Just a tiny yeah. bit of white yeah. pop some up white, over the horizon. Some brown. But then you scan the horizon, and you see that that tiny bit of white is across the entire frame. That and was you're like, really cool. And you could our horses. You start to hear the, s- the screaming of the Dothraki because Erica's like, who's that? And the I'm like, Dothraki oh, it's Dothraki. Screamers. Screaming. Yeah. yeah. Chelsea, you want to share your little fun Oh, fact here's my little... Well, I had this thought during the episode and I'm curious. I would love to know if either the composer or the people who did sound for this episode used these in this episode because the Dothraki screamers were just like such a guttural like i could feel it like it just was so creepy Mm -hmm. and i had the thought that maybe in the recording of either the score or the sound mix that they used um aztec death whistles because the noises that the dothraki were making sounded very similar to and you should all google it because it's fucking awesome the uh i don't know what this is the uh (laughs) so the aztecs when they were in battle against other tribes they would use these death whistles that when you blow into them it sounds like someone screaming and Mm. it's amazing it um i don't know just you guys should google on your own we'll show you guys after the stream is over but i played it for james and then we put the episode back on and there were a lot of sounds and i'm curious if i wouldn't put it past ram and javadi to like use something like that or like the sound mixers to use because they're very open to like using stuff from like like borrowing from real life and using very specific like regional things to make like really distinct sounds i think the dothraki like noises sounded so distinct and so fucking creepy <laughs> that i wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if they used that yeah and what's that called for people to the Google? aztec death whistle oh, yeah, so look up cool. the they are death so whistle. scary there's only like a two minute video there's a, a there's a like bunch of videos of them so i just yeah, yeah but they it's, it's amazing that these things are have been around for thousands of years and it's the most realistic sounding scream it's real good you'll feel it in your stomach it's y- good yeah and uh someone said they had a mongol horde feel i think i think the the dothraki take from multiple cultures, it's, yes, including yeah, yeah South Nomadic American, warrior. Uh, Central American uh, natives, and definitely, definitely Mongols. I think yeah. Aztecs too, and it just long are, are a culture where they were more like just take from yeah. other cultures yeah. compared to like Mayans and Incans were less. Mm. So I think. Oh okay, but especially um, yeah, uh, when they stand up on their horses and start. Oh, that was, was so cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, that's I classic started screaming. Mongolian. Yeah, and so yeah, they just charge in. It was very Mulan. Some people were saying that earlier, and I <laughs> thought the same thing. Yeah, it was, it was a down. great battle scene. I mean, we already had a cool battle scene when Euron attacked uh, the the fleet earlier, and that was another thing where it was like, oh, last scene of an episode, and it comes out of nowhere, and great. Uh, holy shit, this one, guys. And there were different. Like, I like that there were different kinds of battles happening because this could have been just okay. Dothraki, the style of Dothraki versus. Uh, you know, just Westerosi 
uh, foot soldiers, but then you also have dragons coming yeah. in and dragons. lighting everything the fuck yeah. on fire. It's, it's funny because throughout the series, we've had the Dothraki described as like the ultimate ground force. Um, where the only reason that like Westeros isn't afraid of the Dothraki is because they won't cross the sea. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And but they've never considered like, well, what happens if they get across the ocean? Then they're fucked because this they're happens. like the ultimate yeah. ground like attack. Mm-hmm. You then sh- you factor in the <laughs> ultimate air attack, uh, and everyone's dragon. fucked. Yeah. yeah usually the only when thing see... Cersei has against them is the sea. Yep. Mm-hmm. So you've got yeah. Usually when you see battles, uh, you see a lot of give and take on both sides. You see a lot of soldiers on <laughs> yeah. both sides killing each other. Not this here. This was a slaughter. Rocky slit and throats yeah. left yeah. and yeah. right. And then, and then you would see like a group of Lannisters take down a single Dothraki mm-hmm. and then back to the fucking oh, sickles man. just slitting yeah. throats. And Jamie just... That's the thing is like Jamie's just so unprepared when you think about it to deal with both Dothraki and dragons they're not anything like he's trained with he's like the best or used to be before his hand got chopped off Uh, he was trained to be like the best swordsman in Westeros Yeah, but what does he know about leading an army against Dothraki? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. What does he know about fighting dragons? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> mm. But Jamie's not the type of person to run away. Jamie doesn't no. run away. Yeah, Bronn told him Ever. to. Ever. And Bronn no. is telling, mm-hmm. and, and, and Tyrion from afar is telling him. Yeah. To we'll, get to, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just, I'm saying that Jamie, mm-hmm. part of his character is like, Jamie doesn't run. Jamie fights. And Jamie, that's like a big weakness of his, is like, he, he should have just like took off. And yeah. he, but he was never going to do that because that's not who Jamie is. Yeah, and he gets rescued a couple of, well, we'll see about the second <laughs> time, I guess. But the first time, at least, by Dickon. Dickon. Yeah. Um, Emily says, and Jamie has such great plot armor. Dude, that's Jamie's true. Jamie armor, has, yeah. like, intense. Valerian steel it plot is, armor. But it is tested hard this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially with that Dothraki who had the double Arux. Uh He was about a goner because I was noticing, I was like, oh, yeah, Jamie's not a good fighter anymore oh Mm -hmm. man he was doing what he could yeah there were some there was some imagery in that fight that was just amazing uh i mean early on so drogon sweeps through uh blows or like breathes fire over the lines and then you see the dothraki horses trample a like an ashen corpse Mm -hmm. oh god oh the corpse kind of like blows away and then that's the other one is yeah they also like drogon like burns a bunch of people and then just a flap of his wings blows the dust of the corpse away um tracking shot of braun fucking amazing that was so i had a battle of the bastards yeah he did i would love to see a side by side of that shot with john's shot especially since you got like fire and ice Bronze oh. coming towards the camera and John is like moving yeah. away. Oh. Like I it would be cool to like watch both of those play out next to each other because I think they're definitely supposed to be like in versus. There's no way you can watch that and not think for sure. And and John was trying to play. The crazy John. No, Uh, (laughs) we're gonna watch it. That's the thing. I think John's shot was longer. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, John was. John was trying to be in the battle. Bron at that point was running. Was running. Mm -hmm. He he spilled his gold. And uh, James, you and I shared a look because I thought Bron was a goner. That's the shot when he spills his gold of satchel. Yeah, Yeah, just run. It felt like it was so symbolic that it was like, Bronze dead. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little sad that he's not, but I hope that they find a good end for him. It is interesting because I would have been if Bron had died there. I would have been like, great character. Sad to see him go. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. same. But yes. for him to still be alive is interesting. And I noted, I paid attention during the second uh, watch to see what his final shots were. And the last we see of him is when he he dodges the fire that destroys the ballista. And he looks up and he sees this white horse standing there with like, it's just the horse by itself. There's no rider or anything. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if he gets away or alternatively, if he is captured and maybe Joel, I think you were the one who said summarily executed. Who pushed Jamie? I'm we not don't clear. Know. Was it, it Dickon? It, it, it was not made clear. I suspect Dickon, but like he already saved him. It might have just been a random soldier, but it's not shown. I don't think it's Braun. At first, I thought it was Braun, but now I, I don't think it's Braun. I don't think. Yeah. I don't think Braun gives a fuck. He? 
enough. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Braun. People are saying in the chat that it was Braun who pushed. Randy. I don't know. I'll have to double check. It, it wasn't huh. highlighted for sure. I mean, maybe. Oh wow! Oh, people are. Some very people say it was Braun. I thought it was, but I. We should I mean, rewatch no the end no because way. now I'm. Hmm. It was clearly wow. Braun. Oh, wow. Everyone is saying Braun. All, all right. right. So, well, we'll take a look. Well, uh, yeah. All right. No, sure, we had a different sure. experience. Um, bef- oh, they're, they're saying he rode that horse that I mentioned. Oh, to like go. To, okay. To, okay. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll check it out. Okay. I'll trust that so many of you guys. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ever, okay. Was, We're good. I don't we think it was Ed Sheeran, but It was right. Braun or Ed Sheeran, one of the two. Maybe Brown. Yeah. Uh, oh, one sort of callback that I like that this is a demonstration of uh, what Robert said would not be the best way to encounter the Dothraki. Mm-hmm. Like back in season one, he was talking about the threat of the Dothraki and why they should kill Danny now. And they were saying, like, okay, well, if the Dothraki come, mm-hmm. you know, we just need to not meet them in battle mm-hmm. in the open field. We can stay in our castles and we can wait it out. And so I think it's cr- it's so perfect that they're right next yeah. to King's Landing, but r- on the wrong side. Stephanie Megan just said, uh, or maybe it's Stephanie Megan, just said, um, Bronn spilling his gold, but continuing to fight instead of going for the gold means he's not a, a sellsword anymore and that he's like more loyal to uh, to Jamie and them. Interesting. Which maybe. Is, in- is interesting. I, I feel like he just wants to survive. But he do- yeah no that's true he that's doesn't run he said, gets yeah. into that ballista machine and he's he's going at it yeah he doesn't want to at first he tells Jamie to do it but Jamie can't yeah. operate with the one hand uh mm-hmm. he so yeah he he gets in that ballista yeah and he starts shooting at Drogon Ooh. man he misses the first Ooh. shot um, I like wanted him to hit the dragon but I also didn't want him to yeah. hit the dragon. I was like Chelsea was climbing I climb the couch, the couch. Yeah. I I climb on the couch when the mm-hmm. show gets intense and it only happens a handful of times <laughs> this is one of the times where I was standing on like the back of the couch with like my hands over my face because I was like they can't kill a dragon holy yeah fuck. and Drogon too I thought yeah. it would have been one yeah. of the other ones yeah. we just assumed one of the lesser dragons would be the yeah. one to go where but. were they were they just hanging out now, who's gonna ride them I know. Well, can't they like fight for themselves? Yeah, yeah. You They've know. done it before. They have, but that wasn't against. Oh, I, I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she. The look on her face uh, is so determined, and uh, f- I mean, like better word, fiery. Um, hmm. Like she, I feel like she's enjoying this. She's pissed off that people are resisting. I, I'm curious to see how going against Tyrion and Jon's advice what that means for her because this i mean it isn't it isn't i guess this time because she's not attacking king's landing directly but she is doing something that they probably wouldn't have had yeah i want to know if Tyrion signed off on this yeah i feel like we no. don't know yeah i know i have like so many compromise. questions oh yeah he's also there yeah, i also yeah so yeah go ahead. no you go ahead so so that's one thing that kind of rubbed me uh, it just kind of bothered me that Tyrion just walks up because, yeah. um, so like we said, they're outside of King's Landing. Uh, King's Landing isn't that far from Dragonstone. It's it's pretty close. But we see Theon and Jon on the beach, and Tyrion's the one who tells them the queen isn't here, right? Yeah. And so we see that Danny has left Dragonstone. Tyrion is still there. Danny and the Dothraki attack the the, the supply, Wait, the loot line, or whatever. Is Tyrion the one that says the queen's not here? I thought it was Viserys. I don't, I don't or, know if Viserys uh, had Varys. any lines. Varys. Or, or, yeah, Varys. Varys. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Viserys ain't saying anything. Viserys. Yeah, I don't know Varys. if Varys had any lines this episode, actually. John, yeah. but John was the one who said the queen's not here. Did he? Yeah. Oh, John tells them the queen isn't there. Oh, yeah. That's but fair. was Tyrion there? No, I don't think he was on the beach. Oh, well, then that then changes Then that changes things. everything. Okay. Well, maybe it's fine. Then maybe it's fine. Man, I hate only watching these once. Yeah. Sorry, guys. My apologies. Again, uh, I only I watched it twice, and I didn't know any better. So, <laughs> my bad. Uh, John tells Theon the queen isn't there. I rescind my uh, complaint. Yeah. I, 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 still, I, I still don't like him being there, just sort of spectating. It would feel clearer if she had just gone on her own. But it does give us the angle of him seeing his brother again. And increasing our worry for Jamie. I, I like. I'm just wondering, like, what <laughs> like happens it. from here? Cause, like, one, how Jamie's not dead. Like, they have to get fish yeah. Jamie out. But wh- how? 
because he's Maybe so dragon. fucking heavy I right now with B. all Thank that you. armor. Yeah, he's he's oh, thanks, sinking ha- fast. Yeah, I, I forget how often they reference it in the show, but I know that at least in the books. Oh, they always mention like don't you can't be on a boat with like armor. Yeah, on. if you're wearing armor on a boat, you're, you're asking you're for you're trouble. You're a goner because if, if you, you fall, fall into that water, you are fucked. You are going to drown. The obviously the last image of this episode is Jamie and uh, I'm so, I'm sorry I haven't I wasn't able to rewatch the series like I usually do before a new season starts. Wasn't there an episode in either season six or five that ends with Tyrion after the Stone Men knock him into the water and him like sinking? Mm. Isn't that the end of an episode? That sounds Does this mirror right. That? Could the chat will uh, confirm it sounds, or deny it. Uh, that it sounds, sounds familiar. familiar. Yeah, yeah, the Stone Men episode for sure. And then, yeah, he was just pulled out, and we were all like, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And, like, we uh, knew Tyrion wasn't yeah. about to die. But it, and this like, is more challenging, because someone would to have to swim all the way down, either get him he out of the armor. He looked like he was going pretty deep. Yeah, or, like, pull him up with the armor. I feel like that's... Uh, well, then, if Bronn is the one who tackled him, maybe he's, like, right behind him, about to save him from... That's so Sleepy. heavy, though. So I feel like it's got to be, like, a dragon pulling him out, and Tyrion does... asks Danny for Drogon to, to do it, maybe. Oh yeah, that's right. Can he even take his armor off with his one hand? He can't. Good. No way. Good not call. not oh. like quickly enough to. You see, he's like stunned. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. But I suspect that however they get him out, Jamie's going to go back to being captured, Jamie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, it'll prove for an interesting reunion. I know Tyrion. that, and I'm wondering if Jamie's ultimately just gonna abandon the so Lannister cause yeah. and just join up with Danny, and right? then that's. What the hell else are you going to do when you're facing a fucking dragon and your brother? Your brother there to be like, no, she's cool. And also, uh, now you know for sure that your brother didn't kill your son. But he loves Cersei so much. He does, but like, but they've been drifting. But they've apart been drifting. And season. he got back to King's Landing and found it fucking on fire. And like, I, I think since then, he's been a little bit distant from her. Yeah. She was the, the last time they had sex was when she initiate it and like he was like no and yeah. she like pushed it yes mm-hmm. you yeah. know and also you know maybe he didn't know but was like mad king style motivated by having just done like violence to someone having like killed someone she was like getting off on that yeah but then at the same time it's gonna be hard for me to buy jamie siding with danny especially since like the first thing he's seen of her is her going uh, mad king and yeah. scorching his entire Ooh, army and, and he's the one who the killed them you know so that'll yeah I I that's mean, why i'm like where the fuck yeah like they, they were soldiers not civilians but they were his soldiers so yeah. i don't know i don't know oh i uh, sort of related i loved that we took a beat to see Tyrion's reaction when the dothraki were saying like oh your, your people can't suck at fighting oh. and him watching his like they were lannister they were men lannister he men. felt yeah. conflicted like this was you know the consequence of what is his making this choice is for him, but yeah, watching his own like yeah, I think maybe this is the first die. time that he was watching like oh yeah, Westerosi people are dying, my Wait, people are dying. You guys got to see the preview, we, we and did. I didn't. We're gonna talk about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll do like a in. little section for people. We'll fill you in on what no, but I want to see. You want to see it? We could we could take a beat and watch. Here, it. you guys can keep talking. Okay, I'll watch. Can you do I don't know where I would find it. Here, oh, they, I'm sure they posted talking. it. I'll pull it up. Oh, yeah. Good call. Her. Yeah. You guys can, uh, Cause I want to be able to talk about yeah, it. Yeah. Take questions for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take questions. <laughs> All right, we'll take questions. Chelsea's going to watch the preview. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> uh, so, guys, what questions do you have? Well, we're just take See, a I always chat thought here. the thing that was going to turn Jamie away from Cersei was going to be her exploding you know with the with the wildfire i thought that was yeah. gonna be like his turning point and be like okay she's lost it but he was like still with her yeah. he's still defending her in this episode so i'm just like what is it gonna take for him to realize that she's freaking crazy i don't know they i wanted them and that's part of my criticism like i i like the a lot of the big moments and i loved episode three i like this episode a lot but i wish they were taking more time with a full 10 episodes wouldn't have to be padding but they could explore some of these natural like consequences of actions happening and questions that are coming up. Yeah. Like that. Like I want them to I want them to wrestle a little more with Tom and, and why he committed suicide mm-hmm. and her like she took out the sparrows and the Tyrells, but also she killed a lot of innocents. Yes. And I wanted Jamie like, I don't know, season six, he was on this path. You know, you saw it with Brienne more of returning to like he's not the brash, like selfish 
guy anymore. He's caring more about honor, but it's not been a continual like path towards that. Sort of like it is in the books. It's been like mm. he's kind of getting there, but then just like and then plateau. He goes back, and then Cersei like brings him back. Yeah. So what do you do? People are asking Who things. Do you think is going to die in the next episode? Oh boy. Uh, I have no idea. I I think I Bronn's gonna die. I wonder if a Tarly is gonna die because if both Fine. of them survived this, uh, yeah. they'll have to either bend the knee, and if they don't, they'll die. Is there a reason for me to care about Dickon? Because <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Dickon. Um. Yeah, Sam's. Hey, what if what if what if he dies? Randall would have to name Sam <laughs> the heir. Just come back. should care about Dickon because if Dickon dies which like he's totally going to because why have they been spending any time on him yeah then uh that forces Randall to like look at Sam very differently because he literally has no other heirs I mean he does but like no way is he gonna give Hornhill to one of his daughters like you think Sam's gonna go back and be lord of no no not at all but that's what's gonna make Randall kick himself that he didn't have an heir and a spare. He has like an heir, an heir and then <laughs> he had an heir and then made the heir like not exist not anymore. Heir, kind yeah. Of. <laughs> yeah. Mm. He made the spare the heir and now he's fucked because he doesn't have a backup plan. And yeah, I think Randall's too traditional to like make his daughter. Oh yeah. The heir. Anyway, it's gonna be interesting. So fuck Randall. He sucks. <laughs> yeah. Randall's the <laughs> I worst. Watch this preview. Uh, I like, I like seeing the actor more and stuff. He was just an atomic blonde and just being all hard stone faced and mean. He's good <laughs> at that. What are other questions? I think they were asking about Bran and the mad King burn them all, whether that's going to happen. Um, a lot of people seem to think that it's going to be Bran that causes the Mad King. I'm not invested in that happening happening at all. Like him sort of generating voices for the like. I, I don't need Whoa. that to be. Yeah, I don't need that to Kinda happen. Kind of like how he affected, well, not really, but like yeah. the Tower of Joy stuff. Yeah, like when I, Ned hurt I want him. that to pay off in a bigger way. Like because they set it up, and so I'm waiting for Bran to affect like a and major. Then, oh, event and then in like history. Hodor hold the door kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, cool. Because like Ned be heard him for crazy. sure. Crazy. Yeah. But I wish there was a way for Bran to like go back in time, talk to Ned, and be like, "You remember that voice? That was me." But like, yeah. what he oh uh, look at his son the same. The whole way. Bran yeah. stuff really confuses me. Yeah, you can turn it off. It's not as fun. Hey, I'm Bran's back. powers and his effects on things confuses me a lot, and I don't, I don't understand. Nobody knows. They're yeah, they haven't been super clear. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, it's complicated. You don't need to ask any more questions. It's complicated. Oh, <laughs> it's a long story. Uh, uh, so you've seen the preview. So oh. let's talk about that Watch preview. It. Hey, guys, if you don't want to hear anything about previews. That's right. Get the fuck out of here. Get, out. Get the fuck out of here. We'll talk, we're going to talk previews. about it. You don't oh, like it. Sure. Wait, okay. I did want to mention something. So Sansa said, oh, she's like, John was so happy to see me. I, I can't imagine how happy he'll be to see you, yeah. Arya. And then I was Aww. like, well, that makes me feel like they're never going to see each oh other no. again. Oh, oh, don't do it. God. 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 Oh, oh, also, hey, did you uh, see that you and I were on HBO? I saw that on my drive home. I I, I wasn't dr- I was being driven home before oh, anyone yeah, gets yeah. concerned. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I saw that on Twitter and was very confused because yeah. all I saw was you're on TV and it was me on like someone's DVR. <laughs> yeah, yeah, many people posted, uh, tweeted at me and posted on my <laughs> Facebook and told me that I was on. Uh, Chelsea and I were on TV. I'm looking at the picture right now. Um, we were on. This, uh, uh, Zach said it was a video of us at Comic Con, not a picture, a video. Cool. Of us. I literally. I, I mean, remember I remember it, when because that we met a girl Daenerys. named Rosa who was dressed oh, as that, Daenerys. Comic Con. I thought it it's was from literally this Comic Con. Yeah. Oh, I thought it and was LA Comic Con. Oh, yeah, no, no, so we this met like this Sandia, Daenerys, though. and she was really sweet, and she was trying to find the meetup that we were also trying yep. to find. So we were just like walking mm. around with her. We were like just follow as part us, of our we'll crew, there, and someone stopped us. I thought it was just a still. I don't remember a video. But yeah, they must have either. taken it. Yeah, of us and and what'd you say her name was Rosa? Rosa and and Mark as our Oberyn, uh, and then I guess we were on TV. So if anyone has that, if anyone DVR'd that. Find a way to put it online. Let's yeah, send us that link. That'd be awesome. It was not on HBO Go, unfortunately. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but that was cool. So we watched the preview. If you guys don't, if you guys don't want to know the preview stuff, 
Uh, Brizzy, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like oh, Brizzy doesn't, doesn't like No movies. trailer talk for yeah, her either. Trailer talk for Third her. dragons. <laughs> So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Danny yeah. with her with Drogon chilling. Drogon's alive. He's okay, and uh, they're they're chilling. And she has a bunch of looks like prisoners of war. Yeah, looks like looks like, looks like Lannister uh, Lannisters and Tarleys probably. Yep. And she's saying she's not there to kill people. She's there to rule. Mm. Uh, bend the <laughs> knee, or I'll kill you. <laughs> and then that's oh, what and then they cut all to Tyrion say. Being like, yeah, uh, yeah, Tyrion's just. Uh. I, what leader shows up and is like, I'm here to kill people. Yeah, like right. no one's like no every one's leader like, is like I'm not here to kill. Here to kill but like, I no, right no he asked everyone to bend the knee first. Yeah, he wasn't there to kill people, but he killed <laughs> everyone. <laughs> he wasn't there to make friends either. Right. Uh, <laughs> so that. Oh, I was thinking about um, whenever Drogon got shot and Danny was like pulling the arrow out of him. I just think it's like so cute that they're like cool with her now because you know how they were like weird about her when she was when, when they were chained she, up yeah. The, yeah but now yeah yeah they trust her anyways <laughs> i just remembered that mm -hmm. that's cute then um I know, it was like mom it hurt yeah mm -hmm. exactly there's a shot of there might be something in between i can't remember but there's a shot of winterfell with a bunch of ravens going out yeah and john's at the painted table saying brand saw the army of the dead walking towards us mm -hmm. right towards east watch he said that specifically? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you see Bran. Someone said the next fluttering. episode is called East Watch. Mm. It's called East. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Tormund. Oh, we're going to see Tormund die next oh, episode. Oh, nobody. Maybe. So the wildlings I don't get uh, too uh, right now are c captaining Manning uh, East Watch by the sea, which is the eastmost uh Castle, Castle yeah. of the Night's Watch. Uh, yeah, yeah. Only one of three. Uh, one of only three that's populated. The other being. Uh, the I'm show. so rusty, but does shit go down at East Watch in the books, or am I just thinking of You're Hard thinking Helm hard again? Home. Okay, yeah. never mind. So oh, yeah, Tormund strange. is commanding at East Watch. He, uh, I think, in the first episode of this season, John sent him there, and Tormund was like, "You got it. We're going there. Us and the Wildlings. We're going to be controlling East Watch, which is, you know, ironic that the Wildlings are going to be yeah. manning the wall. It's crazy. Oh, castles boy. that kept them out. It's great. Uh, but yeah, if the next episode is called East Watch, and especially yeah, someone uh, said first Hard Home, now East Watch. Said Rosa Sento. If East Watch is anything like Hard Home, Hard Home was the best episode of season five. Yeah, and there was a so okay. If they take, I don't know the exact positioning of East Watch. I know it's by the sea. <laughs> it's in the name. Uh, <laughs> some people were have been saying recently that they this is a little bit of like TV tinfoil because they've been looking at the credits and they think that the lake up by the wall that you see going out towards the narrow sea is like more frozen over than it usually is. And like there's a theory like, oh, well maybe they'll cross over the lake there past Eastwatch and get in. So I'm wondering what how they would get, you know, into Eastwatch and what that would do for them. If they could just like go over the wall at that point or if they have like a way through. But uh, I I I, I I don't know, is it like more like Castle Black where it's like on the other side and they can't get it unless they like pile on each other to, to get up top. I just really quick before I forget to people in the chat have point out that stuff does happen at East Watch in the books, but it's very it's just like word from Cotter Pike. Uh huh. Like. Dead things in the water, which is like a thing that creeps me out. Oh, that's and a line, yeah. yeah, it's just it's like alluded to, which that's what I thought, but man, I didn't remember. Yeah, so I I mean the fact that that's the episode title is I I suspect. So what my guess is is that the opening of the episode is Bran either warging or just having a vision of all those ravens flying over the army of the dead. I think he was warging because they close up on the raven's eye. And okay. they, they had his, uh, his eyes, are like eyes back of the head. So I think that's what starts the episode. <laughs> then uh, he sends out the ravens uh, and they get to Dragonstone and John finds out. Insert rest of the episode here. Episode ends with whatever happens down at East yeah. Watch. Yeah, up at Eastwatch. Probably. Yeah. Hopefully, a little more Cersei. I would like to see more Cersei. Figuring out what's. Uh, oh yeah, what are you there, do was, there was Cersei and Kyburn. Because like, she really says quick. whatever hap uh, whatever they throw at us, we'll find a way to beat it or something like that. And yeah, it's her she and has to learn about Daenerys attacking them. 
uh, sp- uh, very pointedly in the preview. No, Jamie, obviously. They're not going to reveal yeah. that that hand, but I'm assuming, as a we've hand? discussed, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm assuming, as we've discussed, that he does not die. That yeah. he, in fact, gets yeah, captured. Yeah, there's no way he's dead. Yeah, it, if you're he's got that in the future, armor. like binging this, it's going to be like, oh no, Jamie. Oh, there he is. First yeah, shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the same thing with that Tyrion episode where it ends with him falling into the water yeah. and like at, uh, at that point the show was still behind the books so us book readers were like well that was a lame ending we know that Tyrion survives but mm. I remember show watchers being like oh, did Tyrion just die mm. <laughs> no you dumb idiots yeah oh, whoa God. well I was saying yeah before he said that That's so I was mean that Joel agreed with me oh no <laughs> uh, we all and we also hear that line from Varys saying to Tyrion like you need to get her to listen yeah mm-hmm. yeah probably in the whole quit being crazy don't yeah. kill Careful. Jamie. Don't kill mm-hmm. Jamie. Maybe just kill a Tarly. Maybe just compromise with a Tarly, a little Dickon. <laughs> or a Randall. No one likes that guy. Fuck Randall. Fuck Randall Tarly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a shit all around. Yeah. All right. Is there anything, anything else? else? Any, uh, anyone else have any questions? This was fun, guys. Yeah. This is a real fun episode, a real fun chat. <laughs> It's lagging more, it looks it like. It is, yeah. It's, yeah. Doing, it's doing fun, fun it makes stuff. makes clench uh. every bone in my body, every muscle. I'm just like, ah, oh, that, that last scene. Oh, the Field like, of Fire scene? Yeah. yeah, that was great. It was yeah. so good. I think, I think it's so effective in that the whole time you're like, who's going to die? So many people could die. No one dies. Mm-hmm. Still fucking great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's it for us. Um yeah, we only have three episodes left this season, guys. I know, I hate uh, it. Thankfully, I believe two of them are extended. Is that correct? Yeah, wha- the last two ones, Is I it believe, 70. the last two? Yeah, they, w- okay. they released the times. One's about 71, the other one's about 81. Whoa. I'll take it. 81's a, a short Whoa. feature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So that's cool. Yep, I love it. Uh, real bummer about this episode's runtime, but it's fine. It was what, like it was 46 a minutes? Yeah. It was 46 I minutes without end credits. I was okay yeah. with it. It's fine. It'll be. It great. was. A, it was a satisfying episode. It was very satisfying. This season's been good. I like been. this season. It's it's been rushed. It's like breakneck speed. Yeah. It's breakneck speed. It's so but fast. But I I feel like in retrospect, because like we don't know what's coming, so I'm wondering if we'll be like, yeah, they had to. Yeah, maybe so much quickly. more has to happen. Yeah, you know? so yeah. I don't. Mm. I wonder if it will ever make sense to me why they didn't do ten episodes. It will never make sense. No, though. it's just because they want to make this last longer. Because Game of Thrones yeah. is so popular. Yeah. All right. This stream is freaking the it's fuck out. It's fucked up. Whoa. And I'm we'll hungry. This out. Uh, and I want to be out of this costume. I'm <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> hot. You look great, though. Thank yep. you. People hey, guys. You give this her. episode a, a thumbs up, if you if you would. Give yeah. a thumbs up. Subscribe to Liz's channel, Soundproof yeah. Liz. Yeah. Liz, you're, you're getting back into posting. Yeah, I'm doing uh, VEDA in August, so I've been posting a video every day this every month. Every fucking day. Every goddamn day. Uh, so <laughs> our <laughs> true Very hero. Difficult. We've done it before, and it's we may never do it again because it's hard. so hard. It's we hard. did it as like a group of people, and you're, you're you. Just yeah. me. You doing it by yeah. myself. Yep. Someone's at pizza rolls. Someone's have you pizza m- have you pizza made pizza rolls? Video? Have you made a video about pizza rolls? I have not, but I've literally I ate day. them today. <laughs> uh, uh, word has it, Liz, that you eat them every day. We Maybe. did this to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they. I have blame myself. Turned me into this. <laughs> no, it was bound to happen were. eventually. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, Eric is going to come grab the laptop. Thanks, Eric. Oh. Yeah, come on over. Yeah, thanks, thanks Eric. Uh, yeah, guys, thanks for coming. This was a fun discussion. It was a great I discussion. Hope. I had hoped for a short one just because I have work to do tonight. 